cold cuts. We're back We're with Rusty. Back. We're back with Rusty. Fan favorite. Showing us up again with his fucking You're so cool with your background, bro. But for real. So no, I know I'm such a such an edge lord. I uh I Yeah, the I way you have that drama queen. The way you have that hangman's rope, dude, it's like, <laughs> yo, you don't want to mess with this guy. Facts. You don't want to mess what with this mean? guy. Yeah. What does it's it a mean? A noose in front of uh the American, the American flag. flag. It must mean something. Bro. Dude. Uh dude, I mean it's Do you know Banksy, edge. bro? Because this is like Banksy, dude. This is like Banksy, bro. Uh, dude, dude, I literally got so secondhand angry when there were all those tweets that were like, Banksy flew to Ukraine and put up these war memorials. And it's like the just more of those stupid like stop war peace shit. And I'm like, dude, someone please. I, actually, you know what? I shouldn't say that the first 10 minutes. Of the In this is going to get demonetized. Hypothetically. Hypothetically someone yeah. please hug Banksy. Someone he locate Banksy and give him and a give hug. Give him a hug, please. Yeah, yeah please, he's really God. making a statement by making a uh, like millions of dollars just by capitalizing off of his name. Is yeah, he, I mean, at this point, it's got to be a collective of people. I yeah, guess. it's not. I'm one assuming guy. It's no one man. Guy. It's like the same thing with the Dino Comics and the Blobby thing. It's like you can't be that cringe alone. There has to be a group of you working together <laughs> to be that embarrassing as a Dude. human. Uh, Dino Comics. Dude, the di the Dino comics and the fucking Blobby comics. Uh, I, I I've been workshopping some comic that I'm trying to put out to fucking some something brutalizing the Blobfish in that comic. But I just it needs to be just right. I, it needs to be right. So yeah, whatever you do, don't oh, draw man. him as Osama bin Laden because I literally almost lost my Instagram yeah. account, which was the <laughs> most tame drawing ever, dude. I, I'm still so bitter about that. If you cannot tell, that shit was funny. So that shit was fucking hilarious. lame, bro. Wait, what happened? I drew the blobfish and gave it a beard and put a turban on its head. And I and he said, I did 9-11. And then I guess and some of the comments were like, dude, watch out. The blobby guy saw this or the blobby team. And then next thing I know, the, the whole thing got taken down and I had like three strikes. And it was like promoting terrorism and all this shit. And I was just like, this is so fucking lame, Oh, my lame, fucking bro. God. This is so fucking Yeah, those people terror. have power. Like people who do safe uh art shit like they have some sort of internal power like they know people yeah it's fucking, I don't, it's, what I it's think. corporate it's a Dude, corporate it's like a business i yeah, get that like yeah. the most milk toast thing ever will appeal to people but it's like i can't imagine ever being so low in my life that when i'm looking at a web comic i i i want the punchline to be like racism is bad <laughs> yeah, oh really, yeah really yeah bad. it's yeah. like dude someone <laughs> hug the blob uh, someone dude, find the blobfish and hug him please i need it to I, uh, I i've i've seen a couple tweets recently that did absolute rounds on npc twitter that i was like how the fuck did this circulate so much like did you see the one that was like i'm like i'm such a remember when type bitch i love having memories oh, yeah. and making that and, and it got dude it was literally like eight hundred thousand likes forty thousand retweets like i was like where the fuck these people coming from that are just like the, like well when NPC. you know them in real life they're they're so fucking annoying i mean it's like it's just the uh uh i watch um office reruns and big mouths like oh, that's God. the only classic. two things i consume oh classic. god dude <laughs> it's uh, just so embarrassing i'm convinced they're created like in that lord of the rings movie where they make the orcs and they come out of like a tub of goo I'm convinced there's someone out there just fucking birthing these people these from like NPCs, sludge, for sure, like yeah. semen or something. Yeah. It's so fucking hey, you wild. know what you should do? Like one of y'all should um uh just do a side project where you make that like basic generic NPC shit just to capitalize on it. Uh, it would just be so depressing when I found out that like me tweeting 50 times a day just like it'll be like random shit. It'll be like men who love baguettes are sexy and then it's like and it's fucking and, but like if you go to those accounts it's just like like a farm like a factory farm they're just like churning out True. these stupid well dude things. this is how cringe it is is part of there was this kid he's so annoying he's and i i gotta give him a pass i guess because he's 16 but he was one of those stone toss clone artists who was just so cringe but he literally made one of those accounts and did like racism is bad comics pulled a couple thousand followers and literally broke into multiple high level lefty 
groups, including like anti oh, stone yeah. toss. Oh, and now oh he has God. all their doxes. And I'm like, as much as I want to be like doxing is cringe, which is, which it is. It's also like you guys literally deserve. It's like the, the sheep letting a wolf into the fucking, I almost said a sheep letting a wolf into the hen house, which makes no sense, but the, you get the point it I'm trying sense. to make. It's like yeah. it, you <laughs> it literally sense. deserve it at some point where it's like, Oh, racism's bad. I love this, baby. Bring this guy in. Let me send him my social security number. It's like, dude, bro, fuck. You brought. Yeah, this all you have to do is just say a few of the right things, and uh, they'll they'll instantly open up, let you into the club. I mean, did he keep going with it, or did he like turn against them? They still don't know. Really threaten to dox. They still don't True. know. So I I don't know. Uh, I could be ruining it for him, but he's very cringe. So I don't care. But uh, yeah. I just know there's a lot of people who, if they step out of line, he'll probably retaliate, which is again very cringe. But it's also like, bro. I mean, you got you got to watch out right, for number one. My favorite thing. I, I love whenever someone makes one of these cringy comics that go viral, and everyone just tears them apart. Like the um, there was the one that came out I think at the beginning of 2020, and it was um the new guy. Where yes, there was dude. Like a, a new guy at the job and uh, and he like he's kind of I forget what it was like was he he was just there's like a, happier than there's life. a girl there who's on her cell phone and this was when PewDiePie got robbed in real okay. life so the, there's this like indie chick who's like <laughs> PewDiePie got robbed and then the new guy's <laughs> yeah, like yeah. well that's not very nice like that's kind of mean and she's like I hate you. And that was like the whole comic, and it was supposed to make the new guy look bad, but it was like, yeah, everyone yeah, was just like, tore this guy's apart. cool, yeah. <laughs> or the um, uh, the other one was the the lady who does like mother comics, like oh, mom life shit, and oh my god, what, she left, like, I a, a, hate a that pear on classic. the table. <laughs> yeah, and she the, the like... just ate the pear. It's and dude, it's like, like <laughs> please divorce your husband and stop making it our problem. I know, right, like right. it's she, so she, annoying. She uh, she something she posts something where it's like there's like a peach on the table, and it's like the way I think it's like, hmm, this peach would be a lovely snack for my children. And then her husband is like, I I should kill my wife and children, <laughs> like or something yeah. like that. And it's like, why? What the fuck is going on? What well, is dude, this the, the funniest thing is at the peak, she made this huge post about how like I have an amazing marriage and my husband loves me, and it's like. No one would ever get that vibe yeah, based on any of your know. comics, dog. On any of your comics, know. bro. Like, holy uh, shit! All complaints. Oh god, um, I hate that shit, dude. This is not, this is not a great segue, but I know, like, it, in your most in your most recent video, Rusty, which I have been watching your and you know because I've I've messaged you about it, but the your guillotine series is fucking. It's too hot to handle, baby. That shit yeah, I appreciate is fucking it. awesome. The rusty man. sons, yeah. baby. I called it. It's so good. You did, and yeah, I, you and did. I love it is the rusty sons. And and like I love that you're leaning into the um like with each passing what do you call it, episode? I guess each each video that you make, they're getting a little bit more like lofty. Like they're a little bit le like less grounded in reality, so to speak, and more in right. like the story. Are you <laughs> like, trying to politely on? say unhinged? <laughs> kind of, is but like unhinged I think good. I think I think they are unhinged, but in a very cool way. And like I know a big element of this last one that you posted was like feeding the machine of like the con like content creation. Um so that's uh I I have no idea how any of these videos come off. Like uh I, I thought this was gonna be the worst of the three so far because I was like too introspective and you know trying to I, something about like doing political speeches it, it feels like it's out of my where uh my warehouse out of my Wheel, wheelhouse, wheelhouse that yeah. means. or yeah. where warehouse sounds um, better why, why are there wheels i've never seen a wheel Who put wheels on a house <laughs> that's a bicycle right. yeah no. <laughs> anyway but, so it's like i can't tell if it's if it's cringe or is it like, am I allowed to say things or be introspective without it being? Well, let me cringe? interject. For some reason, just talking about myself always feels cringe. Let Sorry. me pretend you're Harris and completely trample over you and talk over your point. Um, you're the <laughs> one guy I can think of. There might be one or two other people out there who have done it, but you're the one guy I've seen who 
when they are being introspective, it's not cringe because it's like genuine. There's so trying to be so genuine. many people who do yeah. that shit, and it's like it's just so fake or it's just yeah. so cringe. But uh, when you do it, it 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 feels very real, bro. I think the the real problem with um trying to have like in a, a introspective speech is that you have to narrow it down. You can't give like a full you know dissertation on uh, whatever the topic is where you could actually really flesh out ideas in a way that makes it sound like you do have some understanding. So you have to condense it down so much that it it, it almost it feels like it comes off as just like a sound bites and and um like I don't know uh simple cliche sentences. But you no. almost have to do that just for time's sake. Yeah. How I, long I think... is someone gonna watch like the, the, I get what you're saying. I think I think that uh-huh. you, um, I think you've hit a nice like medium. I, I, honestly, I think this most recent one is the best of the guillotine series so far, and I think that your introspection and stuff, and it's kind of what Zach was saying too, is like, I don't think it's cringe at all, and I, I think what always will make shit stand the test of time, even if like, even when you're watching a movie or something or reading something that feels like dated. It always will survive the test of time if it's honest, and so I and I think where yes, you're coming yeah. from is from a very honest place, and 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 even though like, I mean, for example, like you and I, Rusty, our content, so to speak, that we make is not similar, right? You we're in different mediums, we do different things, but everything that you were saying about like feeding the machine and having to create and produce and and your frustration. I can't remember if this was something you messaged me or if it was in the video, but your frustration with having to meet like dead, like invisible deadlines to keep people yeah, an impossible standard. Yeah. And yeah. it's like all of that shit is like anybody who's trying to kind of stay in their own lane and make like content on the internet. I think that is like holy relatable and you're making it in a very cool well, I, way. I was yeah. hoping that that would be the case because um, I was really like mulling the ideas around like how much can I talk about uh, a personal like a content creator's struggle against uh, the demands of the algorithm and people's demands um, as well. Just the demands of the Internet in general. Would that turn off the average person? But I think now uh, content creation in some form or another or being an influencer is like much more popular and people are a lot more familiar with trying to be one or trying to stream or trying to do something uh that i felt like all right i I think i can talk about this in a way that uh can portray frustration to a viewer even if they don't personally struggle with that and with uh artists i i see it all the time like on instagram i follow a lot of artists and i always see them kind of struggling with that constant demand to um to produce more and more and more when that's not mm-hmm. how creativity works, you have to be, you know, one of these, um, well, these like factory, like what, what we were talking about, like these factory producers, where there's just a ton of people all putting out content under a single brand. Right. Um, Especially and, Instagram in particular, bro. That is the worst platform. Yeah. Bar, it's bar none. Fucking app, yeah. Bar none. Instagram. It's so impossible to, to get followers on there. It like, is. You can get... I mean, I, I don't know how y'all's guy like both of you have been growing really well on Twitter. I've seen I haven't really been checking any of the stats on um on Instagram. But have you reached the bar where it seems like you can't get any more subscribers or or followers or you feel like you're still able to grow? It, I'm Instagram slow. Sucks. It's yeah. usually like I'll go up a uh, 100 every like week. It's like a lot okay. slower, but I feel like the key there is like especially sub 1k it's it's literally the it's, it's almost dismal. impossible to hit There's 1k no way. but yeah. once wow. you can do that um the key is like having a huge person share your shit you know there's there's yeah. a bunch of uh instagram justin wang types who have like a big following who like when they share your shit it's like oh man like i just went up like 2k 3k which also sucks cuz wow. it's like you don't want to be at the whim of another creator, creator sharing yeah. you you know what i mean um yeah you want to grow organically mm-hmm. yeah oh but yeah. it's i um, think that's a, well like, i guess that, that is organic 
that that's why Twitter is just I mean the layout for Twitter just and I didn't get this until I joined but the con the just the concept of a retweet is it doesn't really exist on other social media platforms where pe- people right. can pretty much will just share your shit because they like it and it appears in all of their followers feeds basically as if they just tweeted it and so like even when somebody shares your shit on Instagram on a story that's like it's a lot of steps for a viewer who's not familiar with you to click on that go to your profile yeah, I don't know. They gotta like really yeah, they have like to you. care. Yeah. Right. They also, have the to care. the Instagram version of a retweet is a meme account with 500k followers cutting your signature out and then posting yeah, yeah. your content right. on their page. Facts. That's like right. that's like the majority of times people will share your shit, and it's just <laughs> so fucking annoying, dude. I hate that shit. Uh, Russ, oh, I love you... seeing like old videos of mine on some meme account it's so fucking pixelated it's, it's been downloaded and re-uploaded so many times oh yeah. <laughs> the knife song becomes an 8-bit yeah. version yeah. just yeah, by fucking classic. 500 re-uploads yeah do um have you been with like this most recent series like do you have some other like classic youtubers like like reaching out to you and kind of giving kudos or showing love for like this series that you're working on right now yeah i i do um there there's and that feels really good like whenever you know like someone who's and they're all balling too they're balling way harder than because like the, the whole point of this series like i'm in this weird interstitial on youtube uh to some degree where it's like i have zero reach uh mm-hmm. my videos don't get they they rarely end up on the home page where they're supposed to be if you subscribe to someone uh, whatever i'm getting off topic but um but yeah like people who are they'll put a video out and it gets a million views in in the first 13 hours or something mm-hmm. whenever they reach out and they say this good video i'm like all right cool that feels good i don't yeah. know if i should like name drop but uh, ben shapiro like coffee zilla yeah ben shapiro <laughs> uh Co- coffee zilla he was like I, he was giving me some uh some kudos on this this series i was like that's fucking tight can i be in one of your videos please uh, I'll say so I can promote my shit. Please, God. Yeah, please. For real. Yeah. Well, well, that, that's what I really love about this series you're working on right now is that it just is like. I know it sounds like I'm just blowing smoke up your ass, but it really is no, just like it. it is outside <laughs> of it is outside of like the general standard of what you see on YouTube. Like, I, like on YouTube, at least the shit that's fed to me is I get like true crime, like interview shit like video game like related stuff and then of course the generic box youtube just like somebody holding something like this and it's like a fucking box of cereal and it's like we just unboxed four thousand whatever like that's like the yeah. that's like the regular youtube shit views. right that's like the mist style of youtubing and then and then that's why your stuff that you're working on right now is like what I love about it is that it feels like there's not exactly a target demo. Like it's really just in its own lane, but it's very I, fucking yeah. cool. Well, it's it's weird because I had no idea where the series was gonna go. I just it started out as like, all right, I'm, I guess I'm gonna do some type of humorous project, um, where it's like, oh, I'm a crazy guy and I'm building a guillotine. Um, I think before the guillotine, I was gonna build a um, a a doomsday bunker. And then just be fucking cool up thing. every step of the way and realizing that I was going <laughs> to die no matter, like, what I possibly tried to do. Uh-huh. And I decided to go with the guillotine. But then it, like, as I was writing or, like, playing this unhinged character, mm-hmm. it started becoming, like, more real and shit. And, mm-hmm. uh, and it seemed like it opened up a lot more, a lot of doors writing, writing-wise and how I visualize it like, Oh shit, I can do really whatever the fuck I want. I don't have to act a certain way. I don't have to be in front of a computer. I don't necessarily even have to have good quality audio or video as long as it kind of fits the, um, the shot and the narrative. And it's almost like, I don't, I have no idea where it's going. I just have a general idea, but it's, it's pulling me at this point. So it's like the ideas open up as, one segment gets written or filmed, I go, oh, shit. I could explore more into the idea of uh, the algorithm becoming like this all-powerful godlike creature mm-hmm. that everyone is subservient to. 
And then what else? And then I think about like, what else is, what does the algorithm even mean? Like, it's obviously not just the YouTube algorithm, which is, you know, my personal struggle, but the algorithm runs everything and algorithm runs everything. That's like politics runs on an algorithm. People follow what works, uh, not necessarily what's best. And that leads to these awful conclusions and awful legislation and people just getting fucked over. Uh, I don't know. It's it's driving me insane, but I, I'm along for the ride because it's, it's it, kind of fun to go down a downward spiral and then to uh, try to record it as best I can. It and, doesn't it doesn't it, feel like a downward spiral. It feels like a spiral, but it doesn't feel like a complete descent into madness. I think you're actually touching on some stuff that's like clarifying in a in a therapeutic way to hear you talk about the algorithm in a way that's like because that word algorithm is one of those things that's thrown around on twitter and social media so much among creators like just like we need to be doing this but like what i love about the video is that you're talking very frankly about how it's a it's real it's not it's it's not the machine controlling us it's like it is a reflection of what we all want to see yeah it's, it's a machine hideous. that has an input and an output and uh dr seuss actually made a a comic about this i thought was really good i think it was, was this the one saying japanese people suck <laughs> I, I, I do have that book but um <laughs> Yo, real quick i really yeah. want to get more into this because i actually had a lot to say on this but we have two minutes left so let's put this on ice real quick okay. to wind this segment down do you still have 20 twitters or are you down to one I'm down to one now. Uh, I'm hoping to get my what is back, it? but it's Gangstalker it's, uh, underscore. Yeah, underscore Gangstalker. Right. Gang Harris Stalker and I is... already picked which of these Princess Peaches we would be with, but we <laughs> okay. need your opinion. So I'm DMing you the picture now, okay, and uh, I, I love I'll... that we interrupted this conversation for. We just uh, there's it's too good, and we're down to a minute thirty. So I was like, I we're gonna have to put this on ice. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, which right, of these um, princess peaches would you pick? I I don't like the the one on the left. Uh, that weird, um, low render to high render ratio is kind of odd. She's hung. Um. Though. Yeah, well, they all they all are, but she's got like that a smooth true. penis that is, that is true. square balls, which is odd. That's kind of the hot. middle one. God damn it, bro! You, said, and, you and Harris picking the latinx one. coated peach. I'm on the far the right, bro. She is fucking. That's because me a queen, and bro. Me and Rusty are Florida babies. We're like yeah, the, yeah. I mean, Floridians yeah. with your sick Latina fetishes. I'm so sick of it. Far, far right is good, but, but yeah, the left definitely has banana titties. Oh, I don't. Yeah, those are the only banana titties I don't mind. Because Harris and I both dated a chick who had kind of the triangular. Banana titties that were just vile, disgusting, uh -huh. disgusting woman. But uh, no, I'm totally <laughs> kidding. We're trying to get her on the pod one day, so I probably shouldn't be too mean. But uh, oh my god, Harris, you wanna you wanna wind us out for in a for a joke? Sure. Let me close on a joke here. Uh, Make sure so... Rusty likes it. Okay, let me think of a good one. So, uh, Doctor Fauci is on his way to the guillotine. And Lizzo is the person who pulls the thing. The executioner. Okay. The executioner. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so on his way. We're back, baby. We're back. Baby. We're back. I'm still um, so mad. I didn't you hear picked how that the, joke uh... ended. Oh, oh what's the joke? Oh, it got it got. Oh, really... I'm so stupid. I literally, yeah, we did a bit, and I was like, "What are you talking about?" It just got really racist <laughs> and anti-vax. It's just better to. I'll save it for the next the next block. Yeah, Dude, I'm so, so mad. Off. You uh, you both picked the Latinx coded Princess oh, Peach. Oh yeah, the Fauci doll, baby. <laughs> yeah. Where, Dude, we, anytime we I go that. into a store, is that a Hillary one? Oh, that's Pelosi, Pelosi <laughs> baby. Yo, <laughs> Pelosi. real pull life the, action figures. Pull the Pelosi closer. Do they actually have real to life jugs? No, dude, that bitch is. Oh, they, really oh, they did her yeah, injustice, yeah, bro. Yeah. If they made it realistic, yeah, yeah. the there would literally have to be plastic coming out to fucking support <laughs> those supple fucking milkers, bro. Those things are fucking huge, dude. That that could be controversial. I would fucking 
drain myself into Pelosi. Bro. Oh, she, God, she's dude. a she's smoke so show, old. baby. No, she's dude. I'd be Pelosi. fucking her, and I'd be like, so what stocks should I invest in? Because she's definitely cheating, bro. Her and her husband are getting fucking you think so? inside, dude. One million percent, they are getting insider oh. info, bro. Is there? Is oh there, yeah, yeah. Is there a politician alive who who? doesn't have a spouse that has murdered somebody with their car like i that, that's what i'm trying <laughs> to figure out like I, I, nancy pelosi uh george probably Bush. aoc's twink husband because he probably he seems like the type of guy that only has rollerblades like all these guys can you guys Did you see that video stop? of them like watching the world cup they set up a camera to film their perfectly genuine reaction it was Did aoc they? and her husband oh, god that's yeah so it, it was fucking it was very cringe. Dude, didn't... Like, just was showing that, how uh, down to earth and not lizards they are. I'm pretty sure it was with <laughs> yeah. you last time, Rusty, but we were all completely wasted, and we were just watching the AOC Boston College video of her dancing, and we were all like, dude, she's <laughs> so fucking hot. I think dude, we were yo, watching that. titties are yeah. fat, bro. Yeah, this is a little cold cut secret I'm letting the audience in on. If you have a delicious alcoholic drink mm. and a delicious energy drink, and you're too scared to pour them to mix them... You can mix them in your mouth by doing this. It, no spill. Oh, I thought I thought no you were spill, just gonna baby. get other sip. I didn't know you were gonna baby bird it. No, baby, bucket. you gotta baby bird it. You baby bird it. You swirl it. Ooh, that's tasty. Ooh, that's tasty. Mm, Don't that's tell really anyone. Good. Cold cuts fans. Okay, this is top secret. Uh, speaking of top secret, what is well. You don't have to spoil it, but what do you see as the end game for the guillotine videos? Because you're I not going to that... kill yourself, right, bro? Yeah, that's I'm hoping. It's, that's you know what's? The case. I I um I recently posted like a, a little clip on on uh on TikTok and it, it went viral or whatever. It got like Wait, what was a clip? A million. It was just like a a part where I I was beginning to talk about um whatever like the corrupt government and blah 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 as mm -hmm. I'm you know assembling the blade to drop and do the initial blade drop test yeah. um it, i get so many comments uh where people are like he's gonna this is an elaborate thing where he's gonna kill himself he's gonna use it on himself first i could not do that because i wouldn't be able to see the end result like i wouldn't know i wouldn't be able to upload it i wouldn't be able to edit it so it's like that's out of the picture Oh, um, you know, you know what I did want to ask you the thumbnail for your most recent video where your uh -huh. head is sticking through the guillotine. Did you really photograph yourself with your head sticking through the guillotine or were, did you did you shop it in like were you bold well, enough it, to I put mean, your there, head under the blade? There is photoshopping in the thumbnail. But yeah, for sure. I just set up the camera and I like, put you know, I, I tied the, the blade up so it would. It wouldn't actually drop on my neck. I trust Paracord that I bought off of Amazon to, okay, uh, that's good. you know, hold up a forty-five pound <laughs> to not kill you. God yeah. bless Jeff Bezos, <laughs> uh, dude. What, yeah, it's, it's and weird then... how many people think that I'm gonna gonna kill myself. Like, and then it seems like they'll be disappointed if I don't do something that even. Well, know, they want to see. That. They want to see you kill somebody. I don't think. Yeah. What if you, you used it on a politician? I think you should kill a politician. That would be dope. All right. Here, I'll bring these up. Um. Real quick, these are. I went through a lot of these. Um. Are these food pictures? Comments to find out what people were talking about, like who they they're like, oh, you should use this on this, blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Um. The the rich. Up there yep. in the top is like the rich, obviously, that you know, we, we can use this on the rich. Politicians is under that. Um, oh, a ton of people volunteer to be first, which I find to be surprising. They say, Oh, let me let me be first in line. Yeah, I guess I saw I those. cut their head off. Are you sure to death cult? Yeah, I, um... but then I would have to be the one that does it. There, there is a Wikipedia page of a list of people who were beheaded in the United States and there's beheaded. not many. Oh shit! I didn't even look that up. Yeah, right. There's yeah. not. There's, so, I mean, there's actually not many, and actually none of them that are listed here that I can see were it. None of it was capital punishment. It was all murders. Uh, except um, and and it's actually been two years, probably over two years since uh, 
somebody since somebody was beheaded in America. So and that, is it, that just by murders or is that by? Do you want me to read it? It says seventy nine yeah, yeah. year old Cecilia Gibson, step grandmother of her killer Kenny W. McBride, forty five, was bludgeoned in her head while in the house. Then McBride decapitated and placed Miss Gibson's head in their backyard. Kenny McBride was arrested at time of reporting after body was dead for two days. Oh, the smell well, what was Miss Gibson wearing? Okay, yeah. let's be real. What if she had a <laughs> shirt that said beheaded? cut here? Yeah. Well, actually, the weirdest one is the first one, which is in 1792. So you have to assume that it was just that this is the first one since America was established. Henry Lawrence was decapitated posthumously in accordance with his wishes. So he had already died, but he wrote in his will, can you cut off my head? Maybe to make sure and so that they he didn't, didn't come back. Yeah, I guess so he didn't come back as a vampire or something. Why would you request a, that? Why the fuck would you request I that? I love people's death requests. They say, oh, when I die, I, you know, I want my um, <laughs> ashes like... brought up to the top of the Himalayan mountains. And it's like, who the fuck is going to do that? Why They're going to be thrown that? away. Well, That's one of those things where you just tell them you will so that they die thinking it will happen. And then you just like flush them. I mean, no. I want my body cooked and all my friends to have a big party and they have to eat a part of me. It's like that's not legal. I don't believe. No, they they do do that at the. They do do that at democratic conventions. That is a thing. Yeah, well, I was going to say I'm surprised that there's not more beheadings from uh, you know, coming out of uh, Comet Pizza or um, (laughs) yeah, the DNC headquarters. Do you guys are when 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 did you first watch that Pizzagate documentary that was like circulating? Did you watch that documentary that was on? YouTube? I never watched a documentary, but I was on 4chan live during the like. During yo that, guys, I just found a pedo ring. There was a uh, I I watched that that somebody I showed it. somebody I totally believe it. Some of the, uh, which is like probably the most fringe thing that I do believe, but like the documentary the way that it lays it out and like points to all of the different like facts and shit you're like okay even if what you're saying wasn't going on here there was some suspicious activity going yeah, on yeah dude like the, yeah, the, it's the dude weird, on his insta man. was posting very like weird. children with like dildos and shit and it's like yeah it was really weird yeah that's I, just this is starting weird. to drive me absolutely insane uh and and i don't know if like if I'm starting to actually believe it, if I'm really going down a wormhole, but the coincidences are way too much. Like all the shit with like Balenciaga and um, uh, the weird symbolism that you see in different images. And then like Balenciaga, if you like, obviously it's a guy's last name, but that translates in Latin to like praise hail ball. Yeah. I saw, yeah like, I, okay. Fuck? I did see that, but I also saw in the same thread, somebody was posting that they were breaking it up and putting it in other languages. Like if you also break it up into like Dutch, it says like, I would like a piece of pizza, please. Or something like that. Like, it's like, I don't think that it always comment ping that. pong. Oh, pizza. Oh. Pizza. <laughs> yeah. oh my God. Dude, what's that? I forget if it's like Nigerian it's some African language, but you can literally type in like "blueby gooby dooby scooby" and it'll literally be a sentence. <laughs> well, it's insane. Well that, so, some of the some of the oh, did you know if you break up the words into this, it gets into the fucking like, it gets into kind of like Martin Cabello territory a little bit, where he's like, like tie tie me to masks so I exist or something. You know where he like breaks he does yeah. that schizo yeah. thing where he like breaks up. I'm not words. there yet. I'm I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> like, fucking close. I try to avoid any of that shit. It's a little too... well. Here's the thing. All right, it's it's hard to avoid because after Epstein, how can all of this still be passed off as conspiracy? Epstein oh, yeah. is proof, and Ghislaine Maxwell's proof, and this list is proof. The fact that it's not coming out. The fact that uh. You know, he died under odd circumstances and she got, got, what, 15 years in prison for trafficking children to nobody. Yeah. Uh, We know Prince Andrew's involved. So, like, the we know politicians are involved. We know Bill Gates is constantly going over to uh, the island and shit. After all that, it's hard to think that none of this is going on and that there aren't politicians and that the politicians aren't all involved in some sort of sex trafficking ring dude that's the packs. the one conspiracy where i'm like i i don't think it's like all politicians but to me it's so no, no, no. insanely clear by the way if you're listening to the podcast attribute this to harris if you're going to leave the patreon just like the the anti-fauci <laughs> talk but it's to me it's so insanely clear 
there is a cabal of rich people who are just railing children. Like it's oh, yeah, it's it so is. fucking obvious at this point. Did um, um did I watched yeah. this really I think it may have been unlisted but I could probably find the link but I watched this video that was like a text to speech reading of a very lengthy series of posts on 4chan on like the X board of somebody that was like claiming to have X been X is the worst board dude. Well, okay, this guy Everyone was is schizophrenic. <laughs> well, he may have been schizo but he was claiming that he like during the year, like during the time period of like 20, 2010 to 2011 or something, that he was a <laughs> kind of just like a henchman, like Mr. Fix It on, on Epstein. On the like island. For Epstein. Yeah, the tech and, guy. Yeah, and for yes, like, and, yes. and also for like various of his like affiliates. And so he would do various like cleanup jobs related to the island. And the stories that he tells are so detailed and so specific and the celebrities that he name drops in there as being like accomplice affiliates are so they're so on one hand like bizarre like you wouldn't guess but also accurate to the time period that he's talking about that in, i fully believe that it's true but he talks about like going to parties or like having to bring like a recruit girls young girls underage girls to parties for rihanna and also for um, Seth Rogen and like other random people <laughs> that that are just but but he's like you have to understand that at this at this time like Rihanna for example who actually has an affinity for like young girls was like the biggest pop star on the planet during this like time period so like she was right. running with that crowd but I was like there and it sounds bizarre and it's like what the fuck but while I was watching it or like listening I was just like. This shit's real. I would love to see that if you can find it. I'll find it. Dude, that's a, that one should be easy to find. I've seen that. Joe, just to interject, because I literally feel like I'm alone in this, and if you guys disagree with me, please be honest. Am I the only man on Earth, in my opinion, means nothing. I don't think it means anything, who finds Rihanna not attractive? You're I feel like I am the Earth. only man. I would Even knowing what I just told you, I um, uh, she's still hot. Wait, hang on. Bro, what about you, Rusty? Do you think she's hot? Uh, no, I mean, yeah, she she's attractive, but like when I look at her, uh, are kind of like about? buggy features, big forehead. She has a huge I mean, yeah. forehead, and her eyes always look like someone is farting directly into her face, and I'm just like, <laughs> it's just not yeah, for me, squinched. dude. I uh I did find the video, Rusty. I'm sending it to you right now. When when oh, we're off pot, you should watch it tonight. It's like 20 minutes long, and it's fucking it's creepy. Like the shit. The other the other bit that they talk about in there. Dude, is, all this shit is fucking creepy. It's fucking all this creepy. shit is like, and it's it's starting to. The fact that it's all coming out, like it makes sense. All right, sorry. Go ahead. Finish your point before I go. No, on no, it's okay. The 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 other bizarre part is he's talking about the parties that were happening on the island. And there was a, yeah, dude, he's talking about this one thing where they would, they would do these parties and he had a various conversations with Epstein himself and how he was like obsessed with hedonism that like, he believed that like you like to deny yourself, like any type of physical pleasure is actually like, like wrong. Like you should right. just indulge yourself. Like that, that was his thing. And like, he would go to these parties or like be walking the grounds on the on the island and was describing some of the shit that he saw like overnight. And he would see apparently they would give they would put a bull mask on one person at like the party who could just like they fuck would, anyone. Right. They would just yeah, they would basically just go goblin mode and they could fuck anybody and do anything and you had to do it. Or Well, you that's were, that like, whole thing with uh what was that big thing that Alex Jones broke back when he was young and fit? The the, the fucking owl statue shit. Bohemian yeah. Grove. Bohemian yeah, Grove. Yeah, there, it, but there, I thought it was a bull thing too. But like, that to me is like, I'm so sick of people finding out about that shit and then be, people being the rich people like, bro, we're just acting. We're just having a good time. And it's like, dude, if I had all the money in the world, I would not get a hundred of my friends dress up in robes. 
mm-hmm. fucking worship a fucking statue and then fucking like the, it it's so don't you just want to like unbelievable chill? like yeah, don't, don't what you just, you're not going to just get your friends and play halo 2 on lan like, exactly have, like a lan party exactly. like this is such like, a fucking lie dude and i feel like i'm going crazy though cuz it's like even, even going into this territory though it's like eh, I know, conspiracy it sounds, retard it alert it becomes schizo yeah it becomes schizo. you know that, so and annoying. that's why it, because sometimes the truth can be so fucking crazy that you can't consider it and it's easier just truth to get is stranger swallowed than up fiction. by the yeah right i mean there's a lot of cliches to to uh to discredit something but like epstein's real uh this shit is real. The the cabal is, of is real. real. Yeah. Real. yeah. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> Let me take another shot. Hold on now. Yeah. Rephrase. Rephrase. Well, it, what what is weird is that I I think it's a shame that a lot of these conspiracy theory things have been kind of like, it feels like they've also been like claimed by the like the fringe right wingers that kind of like that that's where it feels like it comes from now and and it almost gets shut sure. down by the people that are just like like no that's conspiracy you know that's just conspiracy and all this shit and like some of it is some of it is lunacy but sometimes it's like i, I wish that everybody could just as a bipartisan thing just as a we're poor and they're rich thing you know what i mean like like indulge in some of these conspiracies that have to do with yeah. like the rich people and this guy this is the guy i was googling him because i was trying to remember his name but he gets mentioned in the in a very creepy passage also in that video but uh, roger stone is um was on the island oh, like quite yeah roger frequently. stone's like fucking weird and he things. loves sex he's shit bro he's a swinger bro. guy yeah you, and can't, dude, he, you can't trust swingers and you know he has that tattoo of nixon on his like back Have that is that, that is that based that's, that that's is based so sanity <laughs> It's insanity. It's like actual like you have That's like to fucking be... weird cult insanity right, like I'm gonna something cover up my Nixon bicep tip. <laughs> <laughs> you need to you need to get rid of that. Dude, I'm about to watch I'm about to rewatch this video tonight after we get off. It's been a couple years. Oh yeah, since I'm definitely going to watch. But... It. Well, dude, going I mean, off right. what you were saying though, sorry Rusty, I'm going to I'm going to again trance over you. It's so annoying though because like something like this conspiracy will make sense and it'll pick up speed. But then like you were saying there's like far right people who will be like you're right. They are raping kids, and we need to kill all black people. And it's like, dude, you you ruined it. You right, just that's the you problem. ruined yeah, you it, fucking ruined the it, dude. Is that it, there's a there become there's like a logical, like an illogical jump that happens with some people where they like look at something like Epstein clearly was murdered. He did not kill himself. To a con, you know, they might make like three or four jumps to a conclusion that's not true, and that's not helpful that's that kind of like derails the conversation a bit but, right, but just right. to balance it out bro the left especially the media is just as bad because people were saying it was like insane epstein was killed well here, here's a recent example three years ago when right-wing people and even far right-wing people were like here's literal proof that the covid va- va- covid virus was made in wuhan china and came from a lab and literally Washington Post all the way to New York Times were like, don't listen to these fucking retards. They're just racist. And then literally it's last month, literally last month, every newspaper is like, uh, actually, yeah, we did. We did. Is realize. that real? Is that Dude, real? it's it's yeah, literally yeah. confirmed now. And if if I'm wrong, please post in the comments. But I'm 99 percent sure it was literally confirmed now. And it's like that. It's so I, I don't know. They're just like, as what, bad. To, Both to, sides to are end? just as fucking annoying. That it was literally made in a lab in Wuhan. Right, but to what end? Like, why would do they mean? do that? Like, why would they? Uh, to, to the well, it makes of, sense uh, to do that for like. Uh, of it's just like people Dr. who make Fauci nukes and funding shit. gain of function research, uh, in order because uh, when DARPA started, what in like the fifties, probably wrong there, but DARPA had a heavy focus on uh creating biological weapons which was uh they projected was going to be the new warfare of the future um after you know like nukes so a lot of research was going into how, can we make super soldiers can we make a virus that can be uh air transmission uh, transmittable and that they, can... this, this is when they also literally uh, and i'm not like even a... kidding they tried to make the gay bomb they tried to make something that would, <laughs> they could. I'm not even kidding. They tried they to make something gay. they could launch on an enemy 
army unit that would make them want to have sex with each other so they would be distracted. Oh, everything, yeah. Like, dumb shit like yeah, that. Yeah, MKUltra is a, a fucking weird, crazy thing that's real. And yeah, that's a, weird, that's a weird one, too. Yeah, but I also feel like... How insane MK Ultra is when you look it up, there's a surprisingly th there's not that much info on it. Like well, there, there you know is a I mean? lot it of feels info. Like there should be more. Yeah, there should be more, but they they uh destroyed a lot of it once they, they burned, realized yeah. that the heat was coming down. Yeah, they burned it. Um, so you don't know the full extent of it, but I mean, from a few books that I read, uh, I think the guy's name is Sidney Gutfield. Um, I want to get that last name right. Uh, Sidney Gottlieb. Um, was the uh, the head of a lot of the MK Ultra program programs that they were doing, and um, and he was just insane. He was just like fucking dosing everyone with LSD and uh, you know, trying to rewire their brains. And then it got into like weird hypnosis shit with um, Jolly West, Jolly and West. These people like they were they were uh, interconnected with. Hollywood, they're interconnected with Charles Manson. Um, I don't know, it's it's fucking crazy. Like the entire hippie movement was created by MK Ultra just by dosing a bunch of these like whatever bohemian kids that were just popping around into random buildings to do drugs. They would just give them a shitload of LSD and see what they did. Well, that was a uh, uh, I was I did a lot of reading about Timothy Leary at one point when I was like a few years ago when I was like more into uh, why do I know that name? Who is that? Timothy Leary was this guy he, he, under like I would say he, he he's a, he's kind of a dubious guy, but he was a he was a he was a professor at Harvard that started dosing like he became obsessed with like LSD and, and mescaline and he became basically like a very vocal proponent on acid and and dropping acid and taking psychedelics and he started basically the unethical part was that he started doing doses of lsd with his own students like against the wishes of the school well, that was just the 70s baby yeah when yeah. you were yeah. fucking your students well, well the thing day. is what was crazy about him and actually but like a lot of people who are even like you guys know who terrence mckenna is like that kind of guy why do i, I know that name who is that Okay, he's another guy. He was he was also a uh, psychedelic proponent. He died back in like the early two thousands, I think. But he he was more in like the nineties was his his thing. But he's a crazy guy. I have a book by him where he it's like it, it's him talking about firsthand. He and his brother and like three other friends travel to the Amazon, I think, to look for this like naturally occurring plant that makes DMT. And they go over right. there and they like they know that this tribe like keeps it kind of like hush hush so they go over there and they have to like befriend the tribe this is like a true story they're in like college or like 20 something they went over to the amazon they have to like befriend this tribe of people they don't speak the language with because it's a, like a religious thing like if you want to take this dmt you it has to be under like spiritual pretenses so they have these white hippies coming over and they don't they don't want to just give it out but when they go over there they find that in the meantime while they're befriending these these people there are just naturally occurring shrooms like, like psychedelic shrooms all over the place so they're just tripping and there's not much to eat so they're just eating shrooms as if they're like food like a food source and yeah. um Hippie and it's Italians. like it's like it's basically exactly it's like just his book about some of the like quote unquote i'm gonna say like quote unquote findings that they discover over there because most of like complete schizophrenic ramblings but it's like it's still an interesting story but he's a crazy dude but he was a lot more just like very peaceful and just like oh if you if there's a door open it you know like relax and float downstream and all this stuff and timothy leary Wasn't he in mk ultra because i i remember hearing a, like i doubt they were going it. to a lot of places trying to find like the perfect chemical for Ter um, i mean brainwashing terrence i'm gonna piss McK myself i'll be or beat okay terrence mckenna i think would have been a little bit like young during the yeah he would have been too young during the uh okay, mk ultra true. stuff but uh and he was also uh, like very an i think anti-establishment so i doubt that he would have partnered with them but timothy leary i would say there's a possibility because he was like not really I kind a of good forget how leary like ties in with uh these early programs it's weird because when i like I, I was reading a book uh on sydney gutlieb and he uh -huh. was like again he was like the one of the big 
heads of MK Ultra early on. And it's all just so run of the mill. Uh, like, oh, this is a program. They have a very small staff. Obviously, they kind of keep all the information in house. Uh, it's like on a need to know basis because they're doing experimental shit mm -hmm. that's not, you know, always humane or legal. So everyone outside of the program is like, don't tell us anything you don't have to tell us. Just give us the results. And so it's just like a lot of like weird trials. He would take a lot of LSD. He would just put it in people's drinks. A few of them commit suicide because, or one of them commit suicide. It could have been murder. I'm not really sure. That's kind of mm -hmm. up in the air. Um, they dose children. Uh, I mean, that, then like the Operation Midnight Climax. I don't really want to get too much into just repeating shit that was said a hundred times on like Joe Rogan, but where they would just, uh, they bring in prostitutes and they would, uh, behind a two-way mirror, they would dose the Johns and just try to see if they can get information out of them. The idea was, can we put a new memory in someone's head that previously didn't exist and have them believe it? And then also, can we extract information out of them that they wouldn't normally tell? Um, and who knows how far they got because... But I, I think we have probably better systems of doing it now than just dosing people secretively well, on lsd well isn't right, there literally well, like a truth serum chemical or is that just a movie I forget thing? what that was that, I mean, that's the, kind of a movie thing but here's the thing here's my, my 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 the, the part where i kind of like halt in some of this is like even though like all that mk ultra shit is totally real and it did happen it does make me also think like if they did if they were successful at all even if the results were burned but if they found some like really compelling evidence to show them that they could perform mind control or something wouldn't i don't know wouldn't things be a little bit different more like chaotic I, like i feel i don't know it feel actually well, bro I that's the thing like... if the government did figure that out that's such a powerful weapon that would be literally so classified well, I, that I no kinda... one would know you okay, know what not, I mean? not... okay here's go ahead here's go what ahead. happened and here's how and here's how this works i from what i believe um it it's not easy to brainwash someone or to implant uh, ideas into their head. I mean, it took took Manson about a year to uh, completely turn a bunch of really normal hippies right. into like fucking bloodthirsty murderers right. uh, for a cause that's absolutely insane. But he was able to do it, and so it is possible. But you can like destroy someone's brain, have them in a compromised state, and tell them things where that becomes their new reality you rewire their brain so how this is used is uh things like sirhan sirhan or um uh, or a uh, jack ruby potentially like you uh, jack ruby he's not really a schizophrenic but you find fucking crazy schizophrenics and then you dose them well, you give them well, a new reality and you send them on their way and you put them in the right position to assassinate senators or i mean presidents. dude what what dude this is a whole separate topic, but you just kind of like triggered it for me. I'm reading right now. I don't have it with me in my room, but I'm reading. I heard you paint houses right now, which is the book that the movie The Irishman was based on. And it's the first hand account. Of oh, I read that, yeah. Did you read that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, it, it's a fucking amazing book. It's the it's the first hand account of this guy, Frank Sheeran, who he basically on his deathbed confession is claiming that he was the man who murdered Jimmy Hoffa. And he's talking about, like, he's... Could he's be full just... of shit. Dude, I not think he was full of shit. When, I, when I'm reading it, like, the shit that he's getting into, this is the part that I think actually ties in. It's It seems less interesting than mind control, but it's also, like, more feasible and just as... just If not just as feasible, is, like, there are just so many things that are happening under, like... the like the dark market like the mafia and shit like that that oh, yeah, we yeah, yeah, we yeah. don't even realize is happening like JFK was elected into office because because the mob wanted him in office and they they had yeah, guys there's no way an irishman would have got there on his own dude they had they, not a catholic they, they had guys this is this is true this was like you can look this up this is true it was a fraudulent election because the mob the chicago mafia had their guys writing down names in the in a cemetery and going to the ballots multiple times and filling out ballots as dead people. And they, they did that with the fucking Biden election. They swayed the well, vote. Well, here's the funny thing about Biden. If you read that book, I'm not sure where you're at, but he uh at one point 
says uh, he was in a lot of trouble. And there was a, a young senator at the time who helped him out named Joe Biden. Oh, uh, really? It, it, yeah. Was, so Joe Biden did a favor for uh, Frank Sheeran. Is that what it was? Oh, I did not get to that. But and so fascinating. and I, I was thinking that. like, all right, if this guy is full of shit, then he would have to be like, he, maybe he's trying to capitalize on the fact that uh, Joe Biden was vice president, but he wasn't yet. The book came out four years before he was vice president. So he was pretty unknown. I mean, I if you followed politics yeah. in the past, he was just like the senator who was always there, like talking, blah, blah, right. blah, blah. But he wasn't like in the public mm -hmm. eye uh, to a point that you would name someone for the sake of trying to create controversy. That's but yeah, uh, yeah, I thought that was that was definitely something that stood out in that book. I, I think like that I think that type of that type of shit like when I was reading through that and also just the whole story of like Jimmy Hoffa and the struggle between like the union and the government and like the Kennedys and like how all that played in together, like I didn't know any of that shit. And so like reading it has been crazy. Like it's a crazy And that's the th so then when you talk about it, then you sound crazy to someone who has no idea because there right. is a, a standard reality that we've been fed over and over again and we just assume it's true mm -hmm. um that things operate a certain way but the thing about it just it, history is there's there's always people that are working underneath the public uh perception right. there's there's information that gets passed down you know we bring in the nazis to work for us um so operation we have all of their clip, baby yeah mm -hmm. operation paperclip real um and we just, I it, these things stay in place even though administrations change. They're not going to tell the president um, all these secrets. They're going to keep operating in order to stay in operation. So who knows how far this even goes back? Did it really just start over at the uh, American Revolution, or did some of it carry over even from potentially like Roman times? I'm not really sure. That's, That's just crazy. That have to I mean, think we're about. talking like a shadow possible, government, but... right? I mean, Shadow which government I, has which, to be real. It's so because like, yeah, the president know. changes That's every crazy. four to eight years. But these institutions that are. Working we create for shadow him, governments for other countries all, all the, time. the time, all the time, dude. Yeah, like the banana I, republic like we create shit and we do all these operations that we don't. It's not a uh, public public knowledge that we're manipulating other people's elections, but we've done it in the past. It's been exposed to so think that it's not happening now or that history is somehow stabilized that we don't have to do this anymore to me that seems crazy the idea that this wouldn't be happening especially when we know that it has happened and very recently has happened well i shouldn't say that because i don't really don't have an example in my head it, it's it's happened in the past why would it have all of a sudden stopped it always seems like it stops within recent memory that's when all these conspiracy they become conspiracies they're just unfortunate facts uh, in history whenever it's something in the past but it's so hard to believe that we're just always being manipulated and that everything that we're being uh, fed information wise is all of a, is all a lie um that we don't want to believe it but it i think everything should be questioned now i Dude, mean this I is why i don't I'm trust like, any politicians history has been completely yeah. ruined for me i mean like obviously there's big historical things that can't be debated that are like okay that clearly happened um, but it's like, how much of this shit is made up or fucking astroturfed? Like even something as basic, I mean, not dinosaurs, but like, I, for all we know, maybe. dinosaurs could literally just be like giant Filipinos. Like they literally could have just been giant Filipinos. I have an we, we, we wouldn't I'm fucking know. The other book that I'm reading right now is I, I heard you planted Filipinos and it's, uh, it's all about how exactly. dinosaurs are actually, yeah. Giant and they lost their so. swag. They giant all died and shrunk. Swag. And yeah. like, for all you know, that's literally how it happened. We're yeah. down to the last two minutes, 50 seconds. I okay, really real want to keep going with the conspiracy stuff, but just we do have oh, to God. get to more. We got to start with a little rusty stuff in the next thing. Cause I was literally like, let me pause you guys here and we'll start next time. And then we immediately went into like fucking Filipino dinosaurs. So yes, <laughs> Sorry, no, we okay, don't have rusty. to even remark on this, but it's been bothering me. What's um, up? Richard Nixon called Neil Armstrong and they had a phone conversation when Neil Armstrong was on the moon. That's fucking insane. That's so Wait, hard to believe. Yeah, I didn't even know about There's that. Recordings what? of it. Yeah, he calls him. He's like, "You boys are doing a good job." Blah blah. How it's the like hell. 
How is that alien that pussy? Way. Uh, dude, you <laughs> know what that dusty. you know what that made me think of in our in our in our um in our Patreon Discord. Somebody wa- we were talking about your video, and somebody was like, "Yo, Rusty's based. He has the same walkie-talkie as I do." And it's like that one with the really long. Do you have that with you? Yeah. It's like a walkie-talkie with like a long ass on it. That thing's pretty it's, dope. Um... Though. It looks like it would go to the moon. Oh, he's struggling. He's struggling. Yeah. Now, what is that? Is that in case you're in the field and you need to sit on something? You can put that in your ass. What is the point of that? Yeah, you can. You can Stick it right up hold, there. like tickle things. You can put a hook on the end if you're kind of. That's like the length the of one of those. All three of the peaches in the picture I sent you, Princess oh, Peach. God. Yeah, uh-huh. that's hung, baby. I think when you start to um, enter into the uh, prepping community, it's like you first thing you're starting to look into is like food preservation and um, and ham radios. And so you type in ham radios and the most popular one that's going to pop up. And this is one of them. I just got it off Amazon when you but talk I'm not about license to use it. I just got to preface oh, really? for our gay viewers. When he's talking about the prep community, he's not talking about the drug. <laughs> he's not talking the, about something drug. else completely different. Um, You need a license to use a walkie talkie. What's that about? Well, it's a ham radio. So it uses specific uh, frequencies that are used by a um, truckers and stuff know, or police. That's CB. So it's slightly different. I'm kind of confused about it. Um, Interesting. E- either way, a lot of these are like uh, frequencies that you have to be authorized to communicate in. So, but with this radio, I potentially could connect with them, but the FCC would be able to find out my location pretty easily and find me or something. I'm not. Oh, sure. the FCC the has fuck? control over that. Like, if you said "fuck," you could get fined. <laughs> Wait, is it F- FCC communication? FCC I, does like might, TV I think it's stuff. All one thing. It might all be one place. It's all radio, like radio waves. Yeah, I don't know. I, it might be another one of these uh, three-letter things. No, I who's hype, it, who's I hype really... for the Siggy break coming up? We're back, baby. Back, baby. Okay, so real quick. Yes, Nixon actually probably did. If the moon landing, the initial moon landing, Apollo 11, was real, Nixon probably easily <laughs> could have uh, called them without any sort of weird conspiracy or like... Uh, uh, science not backing it because I think communication between the moon and back is about two and a half seconds and so he easily could have done that anyways well wow. I'm not saying that the moon landing the initial moon landing was fake I do have my suspicions but I have not close enough to enough information to back that up so I just want to clear that up I, Nixon um... should have just sent a text I mean if I was on the moon I would not want to be answering phone calls you know what I mean yeah I I, I had like a more recent it's like kind of a more recent thing that I was like maybe the moon landing didn't happen because the but my only real reason for that is like it would be so much easier to lie about it than to actually yeah. do it. Like that's, it, that's really also, the bottom Cold Cuts fans, so you heard it from Harris. The moon landing <laughs> no, was fake. No, it was I think, not me who said no, no, that. I think it, was it I think not it, me. I think it did happen. The bottom line is I think it did happen, but uh, it would have been a lot easier to fake. And it is kind of insane. To, what year did we go up there? Was it like the 60s, 1960s? 70s, 69? right? 60s, 70s? I think it was 69. Let me let me look it up because we've never been we've never been back right. It was the one time and we never went back. Wait, but, I think we went. I thought we did. I thought we I went, think we went back. Yeah. Let yeah. me see in the seventies. Um, let me check it out. But I do There's like seven people that have been on the moon. I will say there oh, is like there's enough shit that did happen that people witnessed, like the Challenger explosion, and also the fact that there are a, there's so much technology that we use right now, like the internet and GPS and stuff that requires us to have a knowledge of space and sending things into space and navigating them that like, th- like we, even though the moon landing, some of that, you could be like, Oh, maybe that's yeah, way fake. different. It's like, it, it is different, but it's like, we clearly do have a ton of knowledge of space travel. Yeah. So it's like, I, I think I'm going to look into it more. I think the, the Van Allen belt, it died out and like, I think it's less of a conspiracy or a conspiracy theory. And it more comes down to like, um, who was that Hollywood guy? They launched into space. Shatner. Shatner went to space, right? Did he? Uh, William yeah, Shatner? Sure. Let me, let me just double check. So I'm not speaking mm-hmm. out of my ass mm-hmm. like usual. Oh, I thought we only went to the moon one time. I guess I'm uh, kind of, kind of retarded, but I, yeah, no, I, 
yeah so, so yeah, he went to space with jeff bezos on one of jeff bezos's things but oh, the that whole was thing, like fucking gay space though that wasn't real that space. was it was gay space <laughs> but to be fair what happened to him is he was like and this is so deep bro it's so touching but he, you know he he did the whole star trek thing and he was so excited to go to space and was like the great unknown blah 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 and he said like as soon as he got out there seeing how empty and void it was just filled him with like this complete dread and yeah. like sadness <laughs> and then he Not, dies that's horrible. He, he just immediately dies from going it. to space not from when uh, his wife drowned in a pool well, well that's Wait, good for most men that's good when that happens. no no but the, but the whole thing is i think we realize it's like until we do get to a point where there's moon tech where we could have moon bases and even then it's like who, who gives a shit it's like it's almost like pointless to an extent the whole thing the whole space race was literally like a dick measuring contest well you know there I mean? was the the background was that it was kind of like an ongoing metaphor or my understanding for for a nuclear war race like basically right. they just wanted we wanted to prove to russia at the time and be like we are smarter and faster and more tech savvy than you are and so you don't want to fuck with us basically yeah i think and we that's, can launch a human that's kind of why like bobby fisher got fucked up what you said what? Got, like, what wrapped into that uh, bobby fisher like got wrapped into uh all that because he was you know this during the cold war he was a a representative of america's intelligence and superiority over russia and so he, there was probably a shitload of pressure from the part segments of the government uh that were watching every aspect of his life like he wasn't just a chess player he is the chess player he's representing america in this like yeah intelligence fucking race kind of crazy did, yeah, um, I don't really know. I'm not going to talk too much about Bobby Fischer, but he had some ideas I think were correct. Dude, before we hop into the conspiracy thing, because I know the, the cold cuts people are going to murder me because we were knee deep in yeah, rusty stuff the first it. segment. No, we do need to talk about conspiracy stuff. It's very fun. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm at the perfect tipsy it. level for it. Me too. But we do have to round out that point we were talking about before I cut us off asking you which hung Princess Peach's cock you'd suck. Um... So th this is kind of going off what we were talking about before we ended that segment, but I want to check back in with you mentally. How do you still feel about, um, cause it, it, last episode we had you on, there was almost this feeling of not dread, but kind of like that you were on your way out and it was almost like over for you as a creator. I kept telling you the rusty sauce is coming and you were like, you're crazy, you're crazy. But, uh, are you still kind of feeling that way throughout this whole lemon cutting segment or where, where are you kind of feeling on that um and, all right so first let me clarify when i say i'm i'm out i'm i'm talking specifically about uh youtube right. obviously i'm out on twitter because i get fucking suspended every year so it doesn't really matter how many followers i get but on youtube uh, yeah, I think that there is something uh, incorrect going on with my account. I can see a quick fall off of um, reach. How how many times my video is shown to people like on which pages? Like I'm really scouring the analytics. I'm trying to figure this out. This whole series is uh, is me trying to figure out: Am I crazy, or is there actually something going on? And this is the best work, in my opinion, is the best stuff i've ever done on youtube uh massively massively unviewed uh unrecommended doesn't get shared it's never in the up next uh some people will get recommended but like it's it's reach is so limited that i think i know i've done enough things on my channel in the past that um that could cause internal red flags. And we know that there are internal red flags because it's already been exposed that YouTube puts ratings on videos uh, based on the content inside. So why would they not put ratings on accounts? The same way that all this just got exposed on Twitter, that internally they can see this is a controversial person, limit reach, limit visibility. So to, and we know that happens on Facebook as well. It, of course it happens on YouTube. And I have so many self-harm things that are like, whatever um uh, called self-harm and their flag is self-harm and that I, I think there's something internally that's saying this is not uh appropriate for everyone do not 
show this to everyone because I, I really haven't done too much different. I've been doing the same shit on YouTube for about like 10, 12 years now. And uh, in the past year and a half, it's been like, what the fuck happened? Where I could easily get, you know, post a video and get like 500,000 views. Now I post a video, two months goes by and I barely can get 100,000 views. And it's on something that has a high like ratio. It's something that a lot of people are engaging with. People are commenting, saying this is really fucking good. Uh, why would that not follow suit with every single other thing that I've been putting out over the years? I think so, you're... Sorry, finish. All right. So so what I'm trying to do with this series is put in my all into this channel and and test the algorithm, really try to do all the things that I was like lazy and I didn't really have to do before. I'm looking at watch time. I'm looking at audience retention. I'm trying to keep people's attention you know, in case I, I want no excuses when I'm done with this, that I can say, well, maybe if I tried something different, I'm trying all of it in this series. I'm trying every aspect to manipulate the algorithm. Uh, corny thumbnails, not corny thumbnails, but like some corny thumbnails, some thumbnails that are just outrageous. Um, the pacing of every video, I want something in there. Uh, shorter videos, longer videos, just seeing what works. And... And I'm I'm interested to see what's going to happen. Can I get out of this interstitial? This last video that I posted, uh, right now I'm if I look at the analytics, it says, uh, "Congratulations! Like this video has 2.7 times the amount of views as normal." And I go, "Why would my other videos not have that?" A lot of people say they've never seen it, never pops up in their home feed, as it should if you subscribe to someone, because most people don't check their subscription feeds anymore. They go to the home page and. They watch whatever YouTube shows them. That's where YouTube has the power that they take away from the direct connection. When I talk in the last video about the direct connection between the creator and the viewer, that was uh, the old system where uh, uh, viewers would go to their subscription feed to see content chronologically as it was released by the people that they subscribe to. But now they want to see a little bit of new stuff. It's kind of like TikTok. You, you uh, want to see new shit being shown to you. And that is where the platform has the power to mask your content because they don't have to show your content to the people who subscribe to your channel if they think that it might uh, be controversial. Hmm. And I think that's what's happening. And I, I know I've done enough in the past to piss off the platform. Um, so if if I can't get out of this, like this last video is doing good, but by new standards. If I was judging this video by a year and a half ago standards i would be fucking like rocking going like what what did i do wrong this video is underperforming this is so shitty but by my new standards that are so close to the ground where i'm used to uh waking up and what i only got twelve thousand views after 24 hours uh on this channel that's been doing great forever now a week later if i have a two hundred twenty thousand views i'm going like this is a, a win but this is only a win in my new reality. It's not a win by any standard of uh, where I think the channel legitimately should and be. organically would be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it should be. Dude, in five and to that's ten not like... years, I don't even think this is – to say what you're saying is a conspiracy conspiracy theory, you have to be literally retarded because – it's not a ten it's years. Real, just came out with real. It. In it's five real. to ten years, you're gonna be so vindicated because I'm so sick of Susan fucking retardinsky, whatever the hell her name is. Like it's so obvious that they are selectively picking and choosing what they want on the homepage, what they 100%. want to pop off, and it's literally Coco Melon retard shit garbage that they yeah. pick because they're so money hungry greedy fucking ghouls that that's what they want yeah. and they're literally trying to like you see a jimmy kimmel video with like 7.9 view million views and it's like dude literally no one on earth is watching this like it's so clearly being astroturfed you were 100 percent going to be vindicated bro and the proof of that is there's this video that youtube tried to bury but it's susan wajinski I guess I do know her name. Okay. Talking to um, Juice World. Literally, yes. Susan Wojcicki and Juice yeah. World, who, and because of her hubris, that's the reason Juice World died. It's literally Susan's fault. So if anyone is a Juice World fan, <laughs> be pissed at Susan. Her. But it's literally her drunk at a party acting like an idiot, like, oh, Juice World, 
oh, I love rap. You know what? We're going to pump your videos up. We're going to put your videos yeah. on the front page. And it's like, oh, so you literally what so you guys you lie to this day about every fucking day that you, oh, we don't astroturf. We just let the cream rise to the crop. No, you're literally picking and choosing what you want to pop off what you want to do that shit it makes me so fucking angry dude because there's people like you who make really fucking fresh shit i love the knife song no i i i'll be honest to you bro please don't hate me i've never seen the full the full video of the knife song i'm no, not I, big, yeah we, we i'm not a big we, we talked guy. about it uh, you're like oh i'm a big fan and then you're like i've never seen anything you've done before <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, no no liar. Dude, I, I will admit, though, I, I do get little butterflies in my stomach because uh, I, I listen to YouTube when I fall asleep and I watch a lot of uh, I've been watching a lot of Nerd City recently. And I love when you pop up, whether you're doing a song or a little skit and Rusty uh, rears his handsome Steve yeah. Buscemi head. Dude, but, I love uh, the, it's uh, so the, fucked, bro. Fuck the, YouTube. Dude, the Knife Song saga that took you to Germany was is fucking dope. Like, I think that's like an underappreciated like youtube story i think it's a shame oh, that, and, well that, a lot of those parts are are taken off youtube because that, that's uh, what i was gonna say yeah that's a that shame sucks. that it's not really it's not really available to just like view chronologically where you could just be like yeah. here's the original video that you uploaded and then here's your trip to germany like the fact that it's not all there is kind of a shame but that's so that's, i might try to amend that at some point uh yeah, maybe you on should like a, it's, another it's really channel. cool Cause, dude, yeah as yeah, that's like a big who is... aspect of my life that i can't even fucking show any footage of or proof. yeah as yeah. someone who is much bigger into youtube and knows the in and out in and outs much more than harris and i do because we're literally like i mean dude we we we're literally record the people. podcast on fucking the most janky version of zoom free like we we don't know what the fuck we're doing what? but as someone oh. who is part of that oh did i cut out for a second yeah am i back okay as someone okay, who's bro. part of that is this all coming down to someone like susan being a greedy fucking dipshit or is a major part of it um, caused by, and I think it's happened two or three times, but the whole adpocalypse thing, where are they seeing like, oh, edgy videos, we can't make money. Like, is that, do you think that's what's causing it? Or it's just like them I trying so. to be I think like it overlords? Could be, it could be that or the overlord thing. I mean, what we've seen with the, uh twitter like all the internal documents shows that there is you know obviously there's external collusion with uh politics but there's also like internal political interests and internal opinions on things and so th if there's enough employees who don't necessarily have to answer to like any decision they make they don't necessarily have to have that uh cleared by someone above them they, they could be offended by something i've done and put something on there or, or yeah the adpocalypse they can say this is definitely not brand friendly. Um, you know, limit this because we don't want we don't want this type of content existing. Um, and and just to add a little extra detail, I really wanted to talk more about this in my videos, but it's almost too specific that people probably wouldn't care. But how YouTube now shows feeds your video to viewers is through impressions. So an impression is every time it pops up on their homepage, every time it pops up in the sidebar and related videos, um, th those are impressions. But that is something that there's, as far as I know, there's no knowledge on how many, why, or why they only show a certain amount of impressions. You would think there should at least be, for my channel, 1.6 million impressions. Um, at least, but it doesn't start out that way. It starts out slow, 50,000 impressions to a small circle of your own subscribers. And if that gets enough traction, then they'll show it to more people. Then they'll show it to more people. So it's like they're they're testing it on smaller and smaller people, um, which I think is is odd. Either way, that's that's the power. So yeah, why are they doing it? Prob yeah, probably always to turn a profit. I, I can't imagine something as big as YouTube would really have internal employees being able to do too much uh, just based on their own personal politics. But I could be wrong. Well, I guarantee you, you feels that yeah. to piggyback up on the incoming scandal that will happen to YouTube, fuck YouTube, I guarantee you this is going to be just like in the 80s and 90s. I think it was called Payola or something where there was this big scandal where 
musicians and artists and labels were literally paying the radio companies to like, yo, don't play this guy's shit. Only play this song oh, 90 shit. times a day. I mm. guarantee you there's creators out there like fucking... I'm trying so hard not to call people the F-slur. Like Jimmy Kemmel, who are literally paying to get those primetime front of course. page shit. Yeah. And it's, dude, it's so... It's I hate companies, dude, because it's like YouTube literally everyone loved it because it wasn't cable. Right. And then it's like some fucking ass on head baboon takes well, the, over and it's right. like, how can we turn YouTube into cable? And it's yeah. like, yeah. dude, please. I know. Please love yourself. The, the re- Take the a gun and love yourself. Preservation. Yeah, yeah. I think I think the reason that YouTube is better, it's still better than all these other streaming services, is that it is. I know we it, it feels like it's filtered, but it's still mostly unfiltered because you have to think about what is being uploaded. Like the fact that people are just uploading whatever they want, like right. And I mean, and I mean this as a sincere compliment, and I know you'll take it this way. Is like you're not going to see on HBO or Netflix or Hulu somebody building a guillotine and having like a manic episode, so to speak, during the, the standards during... are definitely different. It's like, different, it, it, and it's isn't. It's why it's better. It's high it's why quality. It's, yeah, right. It's the only it's streaming more service. It's more raw, and it's the only streaming service that you can go to to watch a long form episode of something like that which is what drew people to youtube in the first place if you wanted to see somebody just like launching dynamite in their backyard and then their grandpa gets set on fire it's the only place it was Based. for years the only place to do that but like it's it's weird that they're they're starting to and, and it doesn't feel like there's anything else to I don't know. I think I think they're all of these big companies are afraid of being like lawless, but it, I feel like it's just it's, it's embarrassing. It's, it's literally embarrassing. secondhand embarrassment, and that's literally like fucking Susan whipped together the. I think it was like two or three years ago by now, but the oh, we made the YouTube rewind, and it was the most embarrassing. That's horrendous. Pure dog shit. And yeah. then instead of admitting like, oh, we're fucking stupid, they were like. Uh, I, Let's we're delete gonna the stop. dislike button. We're going to stop. Yeah, d- delete the dislike button. And then also, yeah, we're going to stop doing the YouTube Rewind because you clearly don't like it. And it's like, dude, everyone loved YouTube Rewind it's when it was good. like real and, yeah. a, and a literal rewind instead of you literally showing Coco Melon and Gabby Hanna, who peace be upon her, her ass is amazing. Oh my God. But I don't want to <laughs> fucking listen to her, okay? <laughs> that, that chick's <laughs> ass is unreal. Gabby Hanna, if you're listening to this, if you ever need a place to seat, sit, I will be your human stool. I'm not even lying. We could be at the club. You can literally post up on my face. Your ass is unreal. She's also one of those chicks. This is an underrated. Oh, well, you know what? I, as I say it's underrated, but there's a lot of people who are biting my style. They, they saw the YOLO vibe. They're trying to steal it. Chicks with big noses. I'm hard as a rock, baby. Big <laughs> noses are fucking hot, dude. You got a fucking honker on you. Marry me. Let's go. Uh, Dude, I, I've I've noticed I've been increasingly increasingly more unhinged and horny now that I'm single. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to reel it in. But Gabby <laughs> Hanna, please God, DM me. Please, please DM, DM me. Uh, yeah. What were we talking about? Oh, I think I think um, yeah. I ruined everything by going. On I, th- a stupid I think I think Yolo rant. The problem is that now <laughs> YouTube is sort of its own monopoly now because TikTok is the other video sharing app, but it's completely dissimilar to youtube it's it's yeah the experience more... is a hundred percent different it's completely and you get... different but it's right. fake fame like we literally had this guy on yeah. um kyle's county was mm-hmm. that his name and he mm-hmm. he popped off on tiktok and then he was like yeah literally it doesn't translate into twitter insta money no it doesn't like, and it it's doesn't, like it, yeah. it doesn't translate into money at all because it's like yeah you can have you can be super popular on TikTok and maybe, you know, you might get recognized or something, but it's like, it's only on TikTok. Um, it's only on TikTok, I but mean, it's yeah. also like the TikTok people are like, yeah, you can post a video and get 20 billion views. And then in super small font with an asterisk, it says, 
99% of the views are by literal two-year-old babies uh, literally. who accidentally well, do, downloaded the app and yeah. are just scrolling through. It's like, this is They're fucking worthless. Views, sure, and, yeah. Do, do you ever, do you ever run in on, I see this some, from time to time on Twitter where like you click on somebody's profile and their bio says like 1.7 million followers on TikTok, but they have like 500, 530 followers on Twitter. And you're just like, what is this they, discrepancy? Like, how did that? How it's the it's fuck also that interesting happen? too. Uh, when when people on TikTok like they have, not everyone, but a lot of them have zero concept of actually how to make a video. A video, uh, yeah. Because if they were smart, they would take that popularity and whatever talent that they're good at on TikTok, and they would transfer it into YouTube, where you actually get paid. Because you uh -huh. don't get paid on TikTok. It's it's fucking. Uh, five million views. I got four point six dollars, like four dollars and sixty cents. So it's, it doesn't pay. It's Jesus. only for fucking clout, and it's like to tell your uh, your friends in high school. Weird. It's just it's a mill that pulls people in to create content and get all these views just so they can be like, wow, I'm I'm popular. Business wise, it, it I guess it's good to like kind of get your name back out there if you just want to be have the light. Um, mm -hmm. like I use it because a lot of people think I'm dead, uh, for various <laughs> reasons. Maybe they all switched over to TikTok, and so now uh -huh. I can remind them that I st I still live. Still I don't alive. know if that translates to YouTube videos. But going back to the point of they have no idea how to make YouTube videos. Whenever I see them try to make content on YouTube, it's so fucking poorly edited. Like yeah. the, just, the idea of ass, making dude. a video that's longer than a minute, uh, and it, and and then also the the whole thing about TikTok is you make. Uh, you make, you know, ninety videos in a month, and then five or six of them are gonna pop off, and you can't do that on YouTube. You can't be shitty most of the time, I'm, and hope that the like you get picked up on a few of the things. Just, just because it's going to slip out of my brain because I have like no retention for shit like this. But Rusty, I just had like kind of a vision for maybe the next video uh -huh. that maybe like it starts like the first minute and a half are that like really it's like stylized in that really doughy curated tiktok like hey guys back again with blah 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 and it's like whatever and then Ukulele it like music starts in the like derailing and becoming like increasingly like like a little bit more yeah like that like it starts like that in the beginning and it becomes kind of like demonic or maybe that like pig creature is like appearing in the background like periodically you're, you're the pretty same close that, to like, what uh i don't know if it's gonna be the next what, one what, or yeah. the one after but I, I guess i can give it away i'm definitely gonna like lean into like the mr b style like like we're building the biggest okay. and, like you know words popping up and and then it's just gonna cut yeah. to just bleakness uh yeah. the bleak yeah. reality that that's awesome. a camera behind my drone um that's like you know does the whole zoom out thing where i become small and it shows the scale of what i'm trying to do and then it's and then it's just like i'm i'm alone uh and there's no one actually excited here this is fake and uh there's worms in my drinking that's water. deep bro <laughs> that's uh, deep yo well we're throwing ideas th out that at you. that'll make sense you know how like when you make a big ship you christen it and you have like a whole crowd there someone like cracks a champagne bottle on it uh-huh I'm telling you, bro, this is this is how you make millions, dog. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, all three of these men could be dead. But if they're not dead, once you finish the guillotine completely and you're ready to go, you need to get the lemon party old fucking gay men to come <laughs> there at least christen the yeah. guillotine, bro. That, that would, would be dope. based. That, that would be the beginning of the lemon party. Um, oh, man, that's it. Oh, should I fucking just title one of the videos lemon party like no final that's the one. title of this episode you're not allowed no I, I, <laughs> you, uh, you totally can you totally can that's mad funny i uh did, the, oh this is what i was gonna say also the fucking blade for the guillotine came out so hard like that's so shit, fresh the, a fan made that for yeah, you yeah dude the reveal that of that, awesome. that i was like that's fucking cold dude. and that you can literally see how awesome. much you enjoy it during the unboxing <laughs> yeah, you literally have unboxing. like a big goofy ass smile on and it's, it's so, so it's true. insane it like insane. I, I i had it packaged for about a month because I, I was like i need to film myself unboxing it and i was like shit what the fuck there's i know there's a giant guillotine blade in here and now I'm like, I need more. I need uh, I need different styles because I'm still experimenting with what, you know, the angle of the blade, uh, the weight of the blade. 
So I don't know if I should just hit this guy up. He did it for free. That's another thing. It cost him like 108 bucks to ship this guillotine blade. Holy shit, dude. That's crazy. And, yeah, he just wanted comics in return. That's uh, amazing. Like custom comics, or you sent him the comics? like Just booklets? ones I already had. Oh, uh, yeah. Did you, so, did you take eight months sending them, like the comics you sent me? It took about two months. Oh, classic. <laughs> it's yeah, a, it's that's the classic crusty. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. I, uh, I hate I hate checking orders on things. Like people would be like, "Hey, I uh, you know, I made an order and I was hoping you'd get it in before Christmas." And I checked their orders like a month ago. I was like, "Oh shit!" Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> I should definitely. Uh, dude, I just had to do that, bro, because I had to. I literally had to move, and I got we. I had a breakup, so I was like, "Oh god!" And then I started getting messages like, "Dude, I ordered something a month and a half ago. Is it coming in?" And I was like, "Oh, yeah, front row." Right. Rot row, row, yeah. Um, I just, I, anytime that happens, I blame you, Harris. I'm just like, yeah, Harris is he, he's, he's shipping my stuff and he's just fucking up. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, I, I fire someone uh, all the time. I'm like, I, what that hasn't gotten out to you yet? How long has it been? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. I'm reprimanding uh the yeah, guy who takes, guy. takes care of that for I'm, me. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I think I'm too much of a puss because, like, honestly, I, I, for like, sure, the two. If I for sure, if there <laughs> yeah, if there's I'm like you, if it, if there's like so, something hanging over me like from two weeks ago, I'll literally like, oh my god, this person fucking hates me. Like, what if they fucking post something and they're like, I ordered this shit two weeks ago. Yeah, that's my biggest shit. fear, like, dude. I really don't it, want that it, happen. it eats away at you. Like, I I feel so bad. I I just kind of, I either need to actually hire someone. But I, that I means I need to sell more stuff because it's it's such part time work. I'm not selling enough where I could have someone doing this full time. Bro, I'm um, jobless. I'll do it full time for you, baby. Go, Hire me. Baby. I'm I'm yeah. literally dying. <laughs> I'm literally destitute and going broke. <laughs> Help me, please. <laughs> I'll have to send you a uh, shitload of comic books. Totally okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll wait for them in eight months. I'll expect them to arrive at my door. <laughs> Um, did you, uh, did you tie the noose yourself or did you buy it that way? That's a dumb question. Did, did I tie a new, all right, all right, Harris, I don't expect you to, uh, to know, but one of the biggest aspects, uh, of my brand is, is noose. Like one of the biggest memes uh-huh. is the family friendly noose song. Oh, uh, that I made. And you show how and to tie It's all about tying a noose and that followed. It, it, but either way, it's also just a. It's just a, a, a very knot. well. Dude, that would be a well such done a funny scandal that he's Rusty's literally paying it? someone else or like buying the news. I bought yeah. it's <laughs> just the all news fake, pre-made. Yeah, I I buy it pre. That pre- is fucking. Are you made. one of those fucking? Um, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to shit on your question. Navy I, men who knows how to to tie like multiple fucking knots, or is it just the noose? I'll get into it and I'll try to like learn some because I feel like they're useful and then I just instantly forget the second I need to actually tie like a useful knot. I just go back to tying it like I'm tying my shoes. Yeah. Or I, I go to the noose. The noose is the only one that I can remember besides tying my shoes. The only the only understand. unusual the only like unusual knot that I know how to tie is like when you're fishing, like the way that you tie yeah, the fishing that's a fishing line on a on a hook. Oh, that's rugged, it's bro. It's a little weird, yeah. <laughs> No, it's a little rugged though, but it's because I was tying it like a regular fucking knot for so long, and I kept losing my fish True. when I would go fishing. Like they would just take the hook. So I, uh, I like eventually just YouTube like how the fuck do I tie this knot? And now I know how to do that. It's a helpful tying knots is helpful for shit like that. Yeah, you never know when it's gonna come in handy. I wish I was in Boy Scouts um, uh, longer so I could actually. Were you a Boy have Scout? It stored in my memory. I I was in. Yeah, I was in like the Wolf Scouts or Cub Scouts and Wolf Scouts, and then oh, it cool. was just lame as fuck. <laughs> it was like you had to get like a patch to get like a pocket knife, and and this is the this is like the country. I'm uh-huh. like I'm I already have a pocket knife. I have plenty of them. Like I I don't know. It just seemed really lame. Um, early indoctrination. I didn't like the camping trips. The camp counselors were a little bit aggressive. You know, once the lights went out. Yeah, always. Yeah. Oh, yeah, God, I was already gonna make a gay joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To it, uh, dude. I do have some bad news. I was gonna bring in a surprise guest because we were talking about conspiracy theories, and I thought we could get a little bit of uh, an anti or more of like a granola take to kind of debate us with Vosh, oh, but he's it? about to go live, so he cannot. Oh, I'm we so were sorry, talking, Rusty. Was I, Vosh going to come on? 
Yeah, I know you're a huge fan, but uh, next time we'll get him on. Next time I didn't know on. that. That's mad funny. Uh, th- that would have been funny to have both of you guys on at one time. Um, Tell him to follow me again. Also, I must admit that OnlyFans chick that Harris, you're totally not into if your girlfriend is listening. Harris is totally not into her breasts, but she did get back to me. I'm just going to throw that no. out there. Oh, really? Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> That's great. What, uh, wait, are you... Are you... Uh, trying to sneak Harris's girl from, uh, it's like, or, it's totally not his girl. Yeah. yeah. No, no. Harris... I just, I always try to get, uh, Harris in trouble with his Latina girlfriend. Yeah. He's just I know trying, she yeah, gives yeah. him, uh, oh, can you, can you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. The monkey, on, on the, the monkey on the phone. Like that's the best <laughs> fucking video ever, dude. The monkey with the cell phone and just the Latina woman screaming at him. He's that. like, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, we've it's all like, been there. Hey, how do you? How do you pull Latino women? They're like the hardest to uh. Ask Harris, bro. He's burning I mean, through. Dude, well, He's for, honorary first all, Latino. First of all, Rusty, you gotta leave North Florida. Like, well, I like. I don't even know who lives in North Florida. Like that. That's yeah, a lot of people thing. from South Florida. They just come up for the college. Whoa, 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 Rusty! Oh, that, don't that you have a girlfriend? Sense, yeah. Yeah, Uh-oh. yeah. Not yo. She's not Latina. I told my ex that you no, had, that you had a girlfriend, and she was blown away. <laughs> Someone so would I date him. him? Someone would Can we address rusty? this? <laughs> I need to address this. That you, yeah, you said your ex. Uh, like, I have no communication with this person. I, I saw them once. Uh, so the much vitriol, dude, screen. for no reason, bro. What did I? Why? No re- like, I'm fucking. Why? He's a disgusting little right wing creep. He looks like Steve right Buscemi. Wing. I was like, bro, what the hell? Bro, what the, where, where is this coming from? It's a bit much. I saw, uh, yeah, I, I know some people just hate me for things but i always want to know what it is exactly. i'm the same way like, but it's it's not worth it bro it's not worth it i love the i love the right wing thing too it's like I, i've never espoused i i all right so i said this well you were show, I, you I were a part of the obviously i am you were a part of the right wing ben shapiro trading card game oh, from God, my understanding <laughs> no i'm told x that if you're listening right wing <laughs> trading <laughs> card <laughs> game <laughs> i did not <laughs> say that i did not say i'm not trying to cause more drama i don't care uh, it, well, I will say, I, I will say what's funny is that if I'm ever on, if, when I'm on Twitter, if I ever go to a page that's some like right wing page that everybody's like really mad at or something, and I'm like, oh, who's this? I've never heard of them. I go there, and the only mutual that I have that's following them is, is, I see Rusty Cage, Gang Stalker. Yeah. Like, all right, so I, uh-huh. I follow a lot of people. Um, I usually follow, I try to follow the people that kind of counteract what I see without me following. If I see like a lot of, sure. Um, they have good like, tweets, you're saying. Narrative yeah. coming. No, I, I want I want to have, you know, I want things to be kind of equal in my perception of it. But I, I do find it funny uh, how people perceive my personal politics, uh, especially I'm, when I'm looking at the comments for this guillotine. I have people that are calling me, a, a, you know, America hating commie. Um, they're like, oh, I can't tell if he's far right or far left. And it's like, I... I've gone so far out of this system. The idea of two political parties is fucking ridiculous, uh, corrupt nonsense. That oh, it's that all baboon only... brain garbage. Yeah, yeah it's, it's baboon sure. brain garbage. You like, have to oh, have am a I far brain. right? Like fucking oh, there's only two sides, and I'm I have to be on one of them. So decide for yourself uh, whether or not you agree with everything I'm saying or. That or is not, true. <clears throat> Tim Pool me. podcast. <clears throat> Sorry. Listen, in the last <laughs> minute, uh, 30 seconds, just because I interjected, and I think a lot of Cold Cuts people are actually going to be interested in this, and we can wind it down next segment. Um, but Harris, your top three Latina girlfriend catching tips. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, tips. Um, Do Latinas inherently really like know. Jewish guys? Is that a thing? I would not say that's the case. I would say probably. Um, I really don't fucking know. I don't know. I just um... okay. So Latinas, they seem like they're very, like you have to really impress them. Like they're they're not impressed easily. That's true. Right? Yeah, my girlfriend is not easily impressed. Yeah, I do have to kind of. Um... Well, she thinks I'm funny, so she clearly is easily she impressed you're funny. because I'm retarded. <laughs> not funny. Uh, I um. Yeah, I think I think being funny is like the first step, but I can't even say that. I don't even think I'm that funny. So like, I don't even know what it is. Do you think I don't know. the reason yeah, she finds mistake. you and me funny is mainly because she's just funny getting look, into maybe? high school? Do you think that has like any factor? 
<laughs> may that could be why yeah that does it she it's about to be her quinceanera so maybe that like she'll Based. like change <laughs> yeah maybe some some of her opinions will change dude less than a minute but we're not doing another block right this is the this is the end of the episode we'll wind it down next block we'll do like 10 15 minutes oh okay okay Harris is, is it, trying to get out of here before i get him in trouble with the girlfriend he's like no I, no i no, gotta I, go i wasn't sure if we I wasn't sure if we were gonna do another block, but I'm chilling. But we can we can wind it down to the next little bit. Um, I'm down for whatever. Time flies. The I know it does fly. Uh, you know what's funny is um I know you were, you were on Tim Pool's pod like shortly after I uh, he posted one of my comics. Final bout, boys. Yeah, I we do have something special. I recently, my buddy bought me these. Uh, I think they're called the Ray Gun nikes they're like 1k retail but he he bought them in china they were too big for him so he sent them to me and they're completely fake they were like 20 bucks so i've been wearing them everywhere and dude so many fucking it's a lot of latinos but so many sneakerheads <laughs> in the street are like bro your shoes are <laughs> fucking fresh man and i'm like i don't have the heart to tell this guy that they're <laughs> fucking fake but i finally threw them out because literally they smelled none of my shoes smell these shoes smell like I inserted my foot into a man's colon, which I've only done twice in Peru. <laughs> but I finally threw them out, and we do have a live unboxing of my oh. new kick around beat 'em up shoe that were on oh. sale for thirty dollars on Amazon. So I'm Let's very hyped to show you go. guys these. Uh, I like ending it with a shoe unboxing. Oh baby, yeah, this is gonna be great. I'm, a, I'm an Adidas man too, so. Uh... Let's see. This it. is so funny, dude. It says end plastic waste, and then there's also a plastic thing <laughs> wrapped <laughs> like around. Got unnecessarily close. It's all it. a lie. It's all, it's all a, a lie. lie. Literally, but oh, bro. By the way, any Cold Cuts fans, if you need shoes, these are always on sale. Anytime I look on Amazon, in their running shoes, which I found, if you need shoes to walk in. That, yeah. shoes are so fucking it basically means bro. like old person shoe yeah like if you Literally, have fucking dude. like bursitis yeah oh bro oh these look at are that. the crispy ass dude those are fucking Fresh. fire dog not clean. to toot my own horn but these are the crispies very now clean. are those bootlegged or are those actual Adidas? these ones are actually real because they were on sale you will never find me paying more than 50 dollars for a shoe for a shoe yeah, i'm the same way honestly oh, um, i'm so hyped but uh this uh, has been excellent, bro. I've been having a blast with our good friend of the pod, Rusty. Um, I think you know Vosh does sound on. open to it. Maybe in a future episode, we'll get a we'll get a little conspiracy going. Um, Here's what, all right. That, I would love that because I I do want to say that I don't I don't like uh, I don't Hispanics. like Hispanics. Um, no, I don't. I don't like fucking going down this rabbit hole that I'm going down because I'm. I'm just trying to figure out what is the reality of the world that I live in well, to its here's... fullest. And every time I look into a any small little thing, I realize, or I, I it ends up leading me to a place that's like, oh, this shit is fucking uh, was manipulated 80 years ago, and we've just come to accept it because it's been so normal yeah. so i don't i don't want to believe in conspiracies i want to believe in i want to believe that things are actually like a lot more stable than they are so i would love a lot of pushback that educated pushback and not just people saying like oh what are you fucking uh, put your tinfoil hat on because you think that uh fluoride is probably put in the water because it's a uh, it was commissioned early on in the early 1900s by chemical waste companies destroys our byproduct. pineal gland well, dude, that's what I yeah, love I'm... Harris because it's like I am a low IQ chimp and Harris is uh -huh. like actually smart and he always like directs me on course. But this episode, I don't know if it's because you were drinking Coors Light, but you were almost right there with us in terms of like, yes, oh, they, they, well, no, Hollywood pedos, here's, pedos. Here's the thing. I'm not educated enough to tell you like, oh, no, all those conspiracies <laughs> that you believe are wrong because half of the shit that you said on this episode or maybe probably more than half i was like oh yeah pizza gate's real moon landing questionable 9 11's inside job all this other crap but it's like i don't even think we talked about 9 11 but like 9 11 no, hand job I, I don't know, it was an inside job it was an inside job but that's besides the point I'm not, but destroying I, destroying documents in in tower 7 uh, yes. that's why that building went down that's why yeah did you guys have a friend like when you first started smoking weed that showed you the documentary zeitgeist did you guys ever watch that one like i have seen that one. one 
That was like the perennial fucking. That's not the right word, but like that's like when you. It was like when as soon as I smoked weed for the first time, like that first month or something, my buddy was like, "Bro, I have this crazy fucking documentary to show you, and it's all about like it's in three parts, and it literally is like part one, religion is a lie. Part two, nine eleven is a lie. Part three is it was the New Jews. World Order or some shit, yeah, something like that, and like." I don't even know if we watched the whole thing, but the the religion and the nine eleven ones, like the first two parts, are really they're they are really interesting. Like they are very compelling. It's a pretty dude. Weird, there is some dated fucked up shit. But it is good. Like there's a lot of religious. If there's any fucking retarded internet trad cats listening, which by the way, I'm Catholic, and it is so embarrassing to be Catholic now because of the Twitter Catholics. Who are like, no, it's in the Bible that we need to kill black people. And it's like, dude, pl- dude please shut the fuck up. Catholicism please is like the shut the fuck craziest up. craziest archaic religion. Oh, it's insane. All that shit is crazy. Well, dude, the, the, just to, I, before I pull us into another wormhole, because I think we're trying to wind down, um, that whole thing with the creation, creation myth or like the, you know, the Jesus figure who was born in December. It's so fucked because like there's literally religions that predate christianity uh i think hinduism is one of them who literally have the same exact fucking story of the guy born in christmas time and it's like a festivist thing and it's not festivist but it's it's literally if you watch if you watch that bit that first section in zeitgeist it they talk about it's not just one or two it's like fucking Dude, it's like literally thousands of different religions that follow the same general plot line and and that actually all of it can be attributed to celestial activity. Like it all actually can do with like astrology stuff that back in the fucking dark ages, people still would have been able to like, you know, understand. And then and also that uh, well, this is a whole extra thing, but that apparently like during the time that Jesus was alive. We had already established the idea of like a census, like taking census of people's names and stuff like that, and that there is no existing evidence that he was around during the time that he was supposed to be alive. So uh, let me invite th- this idea. Um, this is the uh, from a history standpoint of whenever someone is is starting to conquer a new region, um, like uh, Constantine, for instance, or Hannibal, or something. If they're going to take over an area. They, and they want to control it, uh, one of the best unifying factors to get all of the people in that region on the same board is religion. And not always is the religion that they come there with uh, the best one. So they kind of choose, do do I want this land to be a, an Islamic land or is this going to be a Christianity land? And uh, so that that's why he converted to Christianity. Constantine was because that was he chose that as his, I could be really wrong about this, chose that as the best religion that he wanted to set the moral foundation of um, the society or whatever he was building. And so they probably borrow a lot of elements from other religions, the the ones that they see best fit to be the moral structure of what would work best as, um, I don't know. A docile rule. population. Yeah. 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 Right. Mm. Right. So like th- there's probably a lot of that uh, reoccurring elements in different religions just based on borrowing it from one religion or another and kind of manipulating it. Um, You get where I'm going with this. I'm sure it's real. I mean, he, this is this is what I was going to say. I think I, I cut my own train of thought off, but like basically with all this conspiracy theory stuff because i also have a very close friend of mine who's also like really into like he is just conspiracies and bit holes and talk like politics and reading all this fucking you know dark materials basically and like but he's he's really he's really left-leaning guy like he's extremely like liberal that's his but he just like loves reading about all this shit and like to a point that i think it does it had it's done damage to him. And I tell him that, like, I'm like, dude, you need to fucking crawl out of this a little bit because it's just Are you like, talking about me. No, I, you could probably fall into this category too. But my point is that like, like I love talking about this stuff. I love learning about it and reading it. And like, I think there's no such thing. Like you should read everything. You should like consume everything at like written language to fucking learn as much as you can. But 
there is a point where it's like if you're not going to go full unibomber you should probably just sh- shut the fuck up because like yeah, like it's just not even worth it like there are people the only people that are going to benefit society by learning all of this crap are the people that will actually uh mail bombs to government buildings but if you have enough sense to know that you're not going to do that you kind of need to take the blue pill a little bit and just just for your own sanity and like that's kind of where that's how i think for your I'm own like, sanity is important but i think that there are things uh i I think it takes these micro changes in the way people think and act about things. We're always going to be in a two party system as long as we think that one is right and the other is wrong and that they're not Mm -hmm. just using three talking points over and over and over again for decades to get us to turn against each other rather than realizing that they're all on the same team. Obviously, this is almost cliche at this point. And yet people still, whenever the voting season comes around, they still fall into the same trap. There's never going to be another third party of, as long as we think that we're the individual thinks that they're in a battle against uh i'm on the side of good everything else is evil um the corporations are going to get away with a lot of shit like putting chemicals in water or selling us bullshit or selling us lies paying off media like what's fucking true is is blue light true uh that comes off computers do you actually have to buy blue light tinted glasses that shit ain't I don't real. No fucking my idea. blue that shit lights are over there somewhere and i will say they do help greatly Listen, bro i, I will was, say that i worked at a glasses store before i was doing the art full-time and we were selling the blue light glasses there i can tell you from my time working there it does not do shit like if you push back on anybody that's trying to sell it to you there's no actual studies that Bruh. show that it does anything it's all i love that- mine Bro, it's a placebo. It's just a fucking placebo. Yeah. If it makes you so, feel better, am I that fine. dumb? Did I get tricked? You got duped. You got duped. It doesn't do so shit. There's, it's all these. They're they're all really small things that like and they compound. And there's fucking millions of them in our life all the time. And we just again, it's reoccurring reinstating of of uh, this, this is reality. And it's not fucking necessarily true at all. We're just believing it because we don't have time to look into every single thing. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it will drive you insane because you'll be skeptical of everything, which I think people should be. I oh, mean, yeah. now I'm finally people are being skeptical of of mainstream media, which obviously it's being phased out. And there's other things they need to be skeptical of uh, people telling you whatever else. Like, obviously, don't just don't believe anything unless you can find enough proof that makes sense uh i when i was trying to when i was trying to look up for instance just on google like i was trying to fact check myself like what did the phone call between richard nixon and uh the moon actually happen mm-hmm. on google hello the results moon like... <laughs> 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 it's uh it's neil armstrong there oh yes he is yeah let me yeah, put him on so yeah, yeah. yeah. He's fucking smelly and bussy. Call wait, back did it, five. Did it happen? What did you learn when you looked it up? No, it is it, it, it. Yeah, it, I don't know. I is I I stupidly brought it up as a point of like this could be a potential um piece of evidence that would say that the initial moon landing was fake, but I don't think it is, and I didn't look into it. So well, I want to call fair, myself out there because I'm not be trying fair, to spell things that aren't true. It would make true. sense because if if. Obviously, they didn't send those boys up into space with no line of contact. So yeah, it right. does make sense. It, maybe it just it sounds unbelievable when you put it in the aspect of like Richard Nixon literally didn't pull out a fucking razor clams cell phone and fucking <laughs> what's his name pulled out a cell phone and hold, held cool. it up to his helmet. Yeah, it was probably like much different. But uh, dude, just because I'm I- tipsy enough and I. This joke is so terrible. We were talking about blue light, and I was like in my head, what if they had Jew light glasses, and you put them on, and it's just that. Abby Shapiro's <laughs> breasts, but uh, feel, feel free to make fun of how stupid I am in the comments. That was I, I had to get it out there. It was burning a hole inside of me, boys. Hey, did I tell you I was at Universal Studios the same day Abby Shapiro was? What? No fucking way, dude. Really? Yeah, she posted a picture on Instagram uh, that she was at Universal Studios, and I happened to also be there, and I was like, I was trying to hunt her down, uh, and dude, I know oh, that's dude. fucking creepy, but that would have been awesome. I'm that sure there were, like, lines forming up behind her, like, thinking her breasts were a ride or some sort of, like, <laughs> something there. Like, right. I got to get on that's these good. drugs, baby. That's good. Uh, I can't believe leftists 
are they're sexist towards women and they think it's okay just because Abby Shapiro's right wing. It's so <laughs> fucked up that lefties make fun of Abby Shapiro's. Right. If I have to read that comment one more time, I will find where you live. Dude, the, I'm not even kidding. The YOLO comments. The YOLO comments are the funniest shit ever. I mean, every day on Twitter, I just realize how. First of all, how bad reading comprehension is. That's like the that's the biggest thing is like nobody knows how to use fucking context clues or like actually read between the lines on anything. But just in general, like do they want to? No. Well, they just want to yeah, believe like what they want to believe, baby. Yeah, yeah, I think it's the fluoride in the water is just making people like it's shrinking people their pineal glands. Double bro. digit IQs. Yeah, it's like everywhere as far as the eye can see. It's not good. I it's mean, not studies good. have shown that yeah, that does for a certain age but that's a fluoride <laughs> conversation i that's next episode next uh, episode is fluoride. so i can <laughs> no before, to clear my name um i'm probably wrong about most things that i talk about but i'm not welcome to cold cuts anyone. baby <laughs> yeah i, I don't want to come <laughs> as a voice of knowledge um I, i'm on a journey to figure out what is true and oh that's deep no one can get mad at you when you say you're on a journey yeah, it's yeah, like sorry. it's just the perfect thing by the way before i forget you seem sober enough and i'm asking you this while we're recording so you can't say no but we would love by tomorrow say around 12 p.m maybe a little hand-drawn rusty doodle of the three of us or three characters maybe you could draw yourself as an animal it'd be great for the uh album artwork i'm just throwing that out okay there. um all right, let me take a screenshot real quick. No, All right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, do your pose. Okay. All right. Now, Harris, you start talking and do your pose. Blah 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 blah. Okay. I got I that. Like a... Um <laughs> make sure my yeah, stash a, looks big. Send me like a template. Just right. uh <laughs> anything square, thousand by a thousand. That works. Um, not even not even sixteen by nine. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. We do it old school, baby. You know, it's coming um, out tomorrow, so I, I got to do this tonight. Yeah, but yeah, you or, can also, or tomorrow morning. You don't have to draw actual caricatures of us. You can draw our little personas that we have there. That yeah, I got the dog. Make it a lot easier. Harris is a beetle. Give yourself one. Give yourself a fake persona. What, you know what? To close, what would Rusty be? What well, is the persona? Um, I, I Both of y'all should go first, and then I'll... I'll I it. think, and I mean this, I think when a lot of people get called this persona they think it means they're being sneaky but i think it's more like a wily creative jew persona <laughs> yeah jew baby. we almost made it the whole episode we almost, we almost made it, made it. Almost we made it. Almost we almost i meant made japanese it. i meant japanese. oh okay so that's right. no, don't eat bro you're <laughs> chinese i know you're secretly chinese i know you're fucking still lying <laughs> to us but uh dude i could see you as like a oh God, a weasel or like a stoat some stoat. some cunning little mammalian creature yeah, that'd be kind of yeah, cool. Yeah, something that could be like tore apart by a a dog really easily. No way, bro. Do, yeah, do, crafty dude. I, sorry, just because we mentioned Rusty being Chinese, do you guys follow or have you seen this guy? Peng, Elon Ma. Peng, yeah, not Elon Ma, but have, do you guys follow Yang Peng Peng Zai? Who's this guy who like he does like a tornado with the beer? Like yeah, when yeah. he's drinking. Oh where, yeah, where that's fresh, bro. Like, so he disappeared he, during COVID. Yeah. I remember that was like the most interesting shit. He was showing like, because he's rural China. Yes. And when COVID was hitting, he was like showing kind of what, out of the cities, what like kind of lockdowns and uh, things they were doing. And I never, haven't seen him since. He's he's back. He he was missing for actually like several months and he just came back and he's been posting on Twitter recently. Yeah. Here, wait, I'm going to try to find the bit where he I should have been that. Chinese, bro. People have been hating on the videos. Yeah fucking legend dude the, the guy is a fucking champion and he does this every video dude there's one where the guy doesn't show fucking his face sick. but it it's convinced me that i sh literally should have been chinese but he'll post one video like every week and it's literally him coming home from work he opens his drawer there's I've 20 cartons guy. of cigarettes <laughs> yeah. he orders fucking chinese fucking chicken saute on the sticks for like Whatever your Chinese monopoly gabagool money is, he pays the guy. Yeah. He sits down in his house. Everything's marble, and he just smokes cigarettes, eats and food, eats and drinks. And I'm just yeah. like, I I should have been Chinese. What a fucking boss, I should have yeah. been Chinese. And it's like that. That's the thing is that like, all right. This is here's my blue pill take. 
Here's my extremely blue. Uh oh, I'm gonna get so many DMs, bro. I'm just saying, <laughs> like there are a lot. This of isn't another one where Jews are uh, intellectually superior than anyone else. No, Please, no, no, no. I've okay. already aired that okay. part out. Yeah, okay, no, that, that's okay. not what I was gonna say. Uh, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, there are so many. There are just so many simple pleasures in life that people forget about. That like, that's that's what I'm getting at with like going down these fucking conspiracy rabbit holes. Is like, it is fascinating, as if you're doing it for fun and for your own knowledge and just like to kind of educate yourself and have something to talk about. But you have to think like, to what end am I going down this rabbit hole? Like, am I am I is it going to make me happier to know this knowledge or could I just kind of like enjoy myself doing like this guy who's in fucking China, who, their human rights is fucking horrible in China, but that guy's like, just for Muslims. Like he's enjoying his life. Knowledge well, is, no, is going to be the most important thing. If, if people have to know the reality, I mean, unless we really are going to be living in like a real life version of, of the matrix, the matrix. Where we just believe all these fucking lies mm -hmm. uh, knowing making... that lies, and then choosing to not not think about it am i making uh, a good I... comparison or does this literally come down to like literally plato when he's talking about the cave the, cave the shadow in the cave allegory yeah for sure i mean right so it's it, will it make you happier maybe not at first but i i think again these are like these are uh illnesses these are viruses that are all infecting the major body and so it's like if you allow too many of them in everything is just fucked up and then mm -hmm. we just go along with shit that we just go well this is life uh does it have to be i mean are we trying to achieve a better future a more transparent future where we actually have some sort of say as humans or are we just going to be like we want to be automatons i don't think we necessarily want to be automatons i think there is a better future rather than one that it, it just it takes more people at least accepting the idea that what they think they know uh could easily just be manipulative falsehoods like we, i don't know I'm, I'm not really sure again like i'm, I'm trying to figure this out it's like obama like, is it better to be happy like, do yeah, you really yeah, want to not... know whether Michelle used to be a man? Or do you want to just live your life just and you your, know, life. your beautiful Michelle, who's not Michael? You say she's beautiful? Uh, she, I, you know what? I'm. This could be a hot take. I would fuck Michelle Obama. I'm throwing You're it out so here right now. Ass backwards. Rihanna, out. Michelle Obama, <laughs> in. Michelle is way hotter <laughs> than funny. Rihanna, bro. The fact uh, that oh fucking God. Michelle has the power <laughs> to make American school children eat lettuce and pretend that it's better than the fucking pizza school lunch they were served, that's, right. that's real power. That is yeah. real fucking power, baby. Let me point uh, at the screen. I haven't done that this whole episode. Can we all point yeah. at the screen? Let's all point at the screen. The, uh, the, the, the jobs of the first ladies in office are always kind of funny. Like It's like Michelle Obama wanted to get kids playing outside again and like nancy reagan wanted to like and plant, drugs plant yeah what did she what did, what did she exactly and jackie to do? kennedy's job was yeah, to was, eat uh... the paint off the wall because she was a <laughs> fucking insane well, did you, creature did you, did you guys also know that Dog nancy face. nancy kennedy was the one who spearheaded the movement to put um the parental advisory explicit content you mean are you talking about was jackie that... kennedy or nancy reagan you can sorry nancy their names. Na sorry nancy i believe it was nancy reagan okay. um nancy reagan's the one that did that I, yeah for some reason i thought maybe that was like one of those goofy other ones like dude what a dumb bitch she literally made albums cooler you see that on an album <laughs> and you're like i want that i, fucking I know album. i know it actually does make things kind of uh, it's actually kind of like a benign thing i mean we rate movies. I guess it does kind of give you an idea of like what to expect in the in the content. There are more heinous crimes that uh, uh, first ladies have done, and na that that Nancy Reagan has done. That one's just kind of interesting to me. Jackie Kennedy why. made the most heinous crime of literally looking like she lived she off paint crazy, chips bro. and bacon bits. She I don't know crazy. what the like if I know J uh, JFK. It's like he's so handsome, and then you look at pictures, and it's kind of like. He doesn't look that. He's kind of a weird looking dude too. He, yeah, he looks he's, Irish. He's dog, wall eyed, dog faced. Um, yeah, Jackie Kennedy. 
But then you uh, look at her toddlers for children. Literally, bro. She yeah. is like, there's something <laughs> no, that's, funky going that's on. That's the bro. fucking lie. That's the the narrative lie that we're being told. Like, oh, look how attractive they are. And you go, no. But you get told so many times, and then people are like, oh, she, she, I guess she's fashionable. Well, yeah, it's like fashionable. Just because she had a stupid pink yeah. hat. By the way, cold cuts viewers. Rusty and I love women, and we are only entertaining these ideas because Harris hates women so much. That is the only reason we are talking ill of women. I just want to throw yeah, that out there. That's right. I forced them. Also, I'm looking at pictures of JFK right now. Yeah, what is the story? Why does Isn't it a little funky? He's, he's a weird... He's not a good-looking guy. He's, he's a like very strange-looking dude. Yeah, Very yeah, Lovecraftian. Like, he's built different. Yeah, it's like their eyes sloped... At, all the Kennedy's eyes, they slope down on the side, so they're they're like... Uh, irises make them look like they're just fucking yeah. wall-eyed completely. The one dude yeah. was That's very handsome. He, he was the fucking seen the gunman. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he should have. Even if there were multiple ones, the one, the one Both Kennedy brother was handsome though. Who was the fucking the retard who crashed the plane? I think who was that? Robert. What? The one Robert uh, Kennedy got killed by Sir Hand. Uh, yeah, Bobby Kennedy. Let me was, look it up. He was killed. I think by that was a kid. Also, all these guys were killed by mafia-related plays. Like, There's one the guy who related. literally just looks like. No, it's not Robert Kennedy. That guy literally looks like the fucking rat in Sopranos. No, that's. Um, and, oh no, so I need to correct you, uh, Harris. Robert Kennedy wasn't killed by the mafia. He was killed by a a um, a, uh, a a foreign crazy person who was upset by his. Um, turning his back on the country. God damn it! Where is Sir Han? I shouldn't have even brought this up. JFK really Jr. No JFK Jr. is actually. I think what the narrative handsome. is. Uh, wait, Dude, weren't we supposed to wind wait, wait, this what? down? We literally have him? nine minutes left, bro. <laughs> I know. We Dude, literally look, just look up. It. Look up JFK Jr. and tell me that is not one of the most beautiful men you have ever seen. JFK Jr. I know a lot of people hate JFK Jr., but I'm not. Sure How can you why? hate a beautiful man, do? bro? How what can you do? hate a beautiful man? Yeah. Let me see JFK. Is this guy Dude, alive? He look he kind of looks like you, Harris. This guy's not alive, is he? Does he? No, he, yeah, he's like he he's like um like they they like kicked him off the internet or something. Bro, shit. How, how no, he's do... definitely dead. What am I fucking talking yeah. about? Dude, how the fuck do all of these guys why are they all dead? How did they all die? Like, Irish, it, bro. It's the Irish there, blood. Is there some like conspiracy there? Did they oh, what is this? Conspiracy I mean, theory. Ted Kennedy, after he murdered that lady, uh, or drove drunk off a bridge and let her die, he died of old age. Wait, you know that the real story is he was getting the most crazy roadhead and just fucking, <laughs> fucking Closed his went eyes. straight off the bridge, bro. Yeah, yeah. dude, that JFK, was her fault. <laughs> JFK, JFK Jr. It has a a section on his Wikipedia page that shouts out QAnon. It says conspiracy Based. theories posthumously. Kennedy has become okay, so a key is... figure in conspiracy theories associated with far-right QAnon movement. Proponents of these theories allege that he faked his own death and is now Q, a high-level uh, government I official. No Q fucking way, okay. dude. Right. That what? would be sick, dude. That's that crazy. Would be sick. Dude, honestly. So that's why he keeps coming up then. If that's you can, crazy. with how fucking loose-lipped society is, there's no way you Well, you know what? We were just talking about conspiracies and like, yo, <laughs> people can keep fuck? stuff secret. But being able to actually fake your own death, you should literally be... I say this as someone who loves Jewish people, but if it came out today, Hitler was still alive in Argentina and he was 99, it's like, dude, you he won. Just, I, he, yeah, you, you won have at that to, point. You literally you have away. to just you let him live. It. Like, you have to at that point. I watched... Uh, I, I just watched something... Uh, there's a Netflix documentary series that's called... Um... Where they Fuck. cut the guy from uh, what was the concentration? Ivan, it was Ivan Kennedy. the Terrible. There was this guy that they they alleged that this guy Ivan the Terrible was living as just like literally like Joe Johnson in fucking Ohio, like some some fifty years after the end of the Holocaust, and that and and like they were showing side by side photos of him. I forget how the information came about, but they he went to trial like two or three times, and like I think trying they, to prove it was him. Trying to prove that it was him, I think they extradited him to Israel to 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 do the trial. You do not had... want to be there for any Holocaust stuff. That ever, is not dude. good. Well, what... That jury's going to be hung, baby. No, well, what ended up happening was that he, the Holocaust survivors that were like really old now, were pointing to him and they're like, like 
it's been a while, but yeah, obviously I would not forget a guy's face. That's the fucking guy. He fucking killed my family. He whatever. Like they're pointing at him and they're like, this is him. This is him. But they didn't have any fit, like actual evidence to go off of. But and his lawyer was uh, like the most corrupt fucking yes. Jewish lawyer that was like clearly selling out. Yes. Like, it, like, his oh, lawyer well, is makes a- money. Dude, it was a crazy doc. It was a crazy documentary. That guy's insane. Like uh, the Devil Next Door, I think is what the it was Devil called. Next. Oh, that, that I. You did. know what? I have heard of that. That is a famous thing. It's a very good. It's a very my good client documentary series. Ivan the Terrible. I mean, sorry, Joe Johnson is <laughs> yeah, not Ivan not the Terrible. The, yeah, it's crazy, and it's like because he does find this one, this one lawyer who he is Jewish. He's Israeli, and he's wear, but he's wearing this giant star of david chain and he like makes he makes it a point to be like it, it, like like really show up that he's jewish and the two of them are like hugging and kissing and he's like see i love jews how could i be ivan the terrible i love this jewish guy and it's like dude that's your fucking lawyer that's your defense lawyer dude the one uh, thing i'll say the reason point. hitler definitely killed himself is first of all if any that that chick he was married to what was her name eva uh, who's this now? Eva Braun, I think that was the the woman oh, oh, Hitler yeah. married. He was like forty, and she was like twenty. Any older man who's dated a younger woman that age, it's like uh, he definitely killed himself, bro. He was not trying to fucking run away with this chick like that. That definitely did not fucking happen, dude. There's no way. I don't know. Do, Unless do he convinced her it, to shoot himself. Do you think? It, like, okay, of all of these conspiracy theories, like okay, Epstein. Michael Jackson, Tupac, Elvis. What's the Jack Jackson Jr. conspiracy? What, that he's alive. Just that all of those guys are alive. Oh, I didn't even know that was an actual. I didn't know that was a conspiracy. Those, people allege, allege that almost all of those guys did not actually die. And I was thinking, which one of those do you think is most likely? Why would they? Why would any would they conspiracy fake their death? lead to Hitler, them? I yeah. could see. They Hitler would have makes sense. I think, I think Hitler would make sense. I think. One makes sense in the sense he just wanted to be out of the public eye. He was tired of like the public scrutiny, tired of True. being like quote unquote harassed by like the media. He couldn't live a normal life, and so maybe he wanted to just. But he died escape. early in like the whole fentanyl shit. That was That's it was true, something yeah. from his doctor. Yeah, he but he was also addicted to pain pills because. This has happened to multiple actors where they're like, "I'm gonna do something on stage where something lights on fire right. and I fall through a hole." And then, of course, there's a malfunction and you light on fire. But apparently that right. happened to him. He was, like, living in severe pain. So yeah, I think he yeah. got addicted to some sort of pain pill. I mean, he was also clearly unhinged. Like, I mean, the dude was obviously a pedophile and had, like, all kinds of crazy, horrible childhood growing up. Like, he, I mean, it makes total sense that he would be, like, a drug addict. Dude, like, there's a lot of people like, right. who, uh, yeah. and by a lot of people, I just mean... I was about to say the entirety of all black people, but I I cannot speak for them. But I worked for when <laughs> I what now I did e- yeah <laughs> you what <laughs> no when I did uh, that Elon in L A program that you did Harris I worked for this guy who's mm-hmm. like I literally could not find you, did you have to find an internship when you were out here I did yeah you so that yeah I could hey. not find I could not find one so me neither. I yeah. couldn't even. Oh, I like, struggled dude. for the first like two months. Literally, like, dude, same. Ask like one of your uncles. No, dude, what? no, but the you ask, like one of your uncles. One of my oh, uncles. Oh, I don't know. Rusty's busting out the Jewish. Hey, hey, show us that oh, bottle. No, How I much have you drank? Too much. How much have you drank? No. <laughs> oh no, I'm I'm fine. No, I'm I'm clear headed. Anything I say going forward is one hundred percent. One hundred percent true. Yeah, yes, I'm just exactly. Questions. Anyway, Jay McMurdy, Sorry, our friend, who was our teacher, who I called the F slur, and he broke contact with me. Um, but he hooked me up with this Elon <laughs> alum who was this vocal coach for Nicki Minaj, Nick Cooper. Great guy. This black dude. Um, and his, most of his staff was black, too. But I brought up – I didn't bring it up, but it did come up, the Michael Jackson thing. Mm-hmm. And he immediately and everyone else there who was black went off in this tirade about, like, that he's fucking white people made that shit up. Yeah, there was no yeah. fucking way Michael Jackson touched kids. And I was just like, I didn't even yeah, know that well, was like a... Yeah, that. I didn't know people yeah. felt that strongly about it. No, I actually did... Main, I, I actually was one of the Michael Jackson truthers for a while. I was going to say, I was one of the kids. No, I was not. I, do th- I, I did maintain for 
for a while that he was basically a target by the media because he was made a target before any of the allegations about him came out about child molestation. He was bullied by the media a lot. They, they do, made they up do a this a lot. Of of, if they want control over you, and so they usually, if they can't put you in compromising positions, whoever they are, um, yeah. we can get into that. But like they'll put you in compromising they... positions so that they can. Uh, they can get you to do what they want you to do. Uh, well, that was the whole thing Epstein I mean, allegedly the, did, right? He would record. Or what Kanye's talking about? Like, yeah, like with the. Is, it's like he, MK Ultra. Does he have a? Does he have a point when he's saying that uh, Hollywood's controlled by the? Listen, Jews? I hate to cinch it off here, but we're down to the final minute. Harris and I. Oh fuck! Oh god damn it! Oh, <laughs> he totally no, got us again. No, that. That just fucking went to me. Is he gone? No, he's I still here. Him. I hear him. He's still here. He's still here. Anyway, listen. I heard him. Trash bins, G Zan. <laughs> Who are the other two? Brap Brap Pew Pew and, and yeah, T Stilly, Stilly, Trevor Stilson, executive producers. You guys fucking rock. And uh I think it's clear we have to do another Rusty Cage episode real fucking Love soon. I, I have had a blast yeah. tonight, dude. I had a Absolutely. blast. Absolutely. <laughs> thanks for coming on rusty I yeah i don't know if he can uh, say this but i fucking love rusty cage bro he's the man i don't even mind know, that he's, he's best there. friends with uh who's the Nick beanie Lentes. fucking retard tim tim pool tim pool, tim pool. i don't even tim care pool. that he's best friends with tim pool <laughs> baby Just don't find it.